opponent for their home opener. The biggest question tonight is can the St. Thomas Stars have some more success than they did from the past season into tonight. Some new faces on the bench and some familiar faces that we recognize here down in at the London Nationals Arena. We are looking forward to more. I'm going to send it up to the guys upstairs for more. Kyle and Jeremy. Thanks, Taylor. And uh, yeah, the St. Thomas Stars coming in here. First time that these two teams meet as a home opener, as you just said. And uh, the Stars do have that little inside track into the Nationals locker room. Dave Mastos, now head coach of the St. Thomas Stars, should be a very interesting matchup between these two teams. Yeah, Battle of High Bay Area to start the season. Not normally who we see normally in the Western First Sports Center to start the season, but a good battle on nonetheless but and with Dave Matzos back with the St. Thomas Stars this year has maybe the London Nationals playbook a little bit to see how this team's going to shape but again with returning players and new face is going to be certainly an interesting start to this regular season absolutely got to be a good chance to take a look at some of those new faces and some of the familiar guys we have coming up here on this team uh, very interesting to see how this team will shake up three guys though who will be a big impact on this team right there in Wood, Palmer, and Milne, all three dynamic forwards going into last season. Riley Wood now hosting the C on his jersey, getting the captaincy this year. is going to be relied on heavily to carry the offensive load. Yeah, expect these three experienced players to step up this year for the London Nationals. Riley Wood, a 26-goal season. Expect him to get more than that in the, around the 30-goal range. Talon Palmer, he can easily eclipse the 30-goal plateau as well. And for Nolan Milne, expect a lot of physicality from Milne. We saw that from him last year, especially in the postseason. But again, these three returnees, good quality guys, and a good leadership group. With Milne as well, he really started the season off fairly slow. He picked it up in those later, at later parts of the season and really took off in the playoffs. So he's, if he can keep that up, it's going to be great news for the Nationals team, especially when it comes to the offensive side of the game. Defensive side, still a few returning faces, and a lot of guys the Nationals fans are going to be very happy to see on the, on the blue line once again this year. Yeah, very tall decor. You've got Michael Fisher and Logan Paceroff and also Michael Kopchuk as well. And for these guys, again, you see the totals on your screen. Not exactly the point you wanted to see from the back end for the Nationals, but again, an elevator roll, another year older, more experience for these guys. So expect this Nationals decor to play physical and be able to be offensive on the puck as well. Absolutely. Kopchak coming in here as well. Big season for him. Started out the season strong last year. Took that injury, was out for the majority of the season and really started to come into his own once again during that last part. Uh, Pace Roth, the most, like, the, the rover of the team, you can call him. Uh, plays forward, plays defense. He's been up and down the lineup on all sides of the game. He will be a key point of, for the Nationals if any injuries do occur throughout the season. Yeah, especially for a guy like Pace Roth. Started the year on defense, but then with injuries piling up on the forward portion, he was able to step up and actually score some decent points on the forward end, but then back in the postseason, got back to his D and was able to play a bit of more of an offensive role come the postseason, and he was rewarded. Not exactly the result the Nationals wanted, losing in that second round but nonetheless looking for revenge this season. Absolutely, and it's going to be all behind a new bench boss for the Nationals. We're going to see what we can bring here as uh, Mikkelveen is just bringing some experience in here in the, uh, in the um, GOJHL, uh, coaching the Waterloo Siskins last year and for the last two seasons. Very in, um, impressive resume for him as well. 69 wins, 23 losses, 7 OT losses. He knows how to win when it matters, and uh, he'll see if he can bring his success from the Kitchener Waterloo Siskins down here the Nationals. Absolutely, and from Mike McElveen, he's going to be a coach that wants to teach winning habits for these two, for this London Nationals group. Interesting to note, we talked about it before we came on the air, that McElveen was a part of the coaching staff with Dave Matzos when the GOJHL had an all-star team go into Toronto and play into like an all-star type of game. So they went down there and he was a part of that team. So McElveen will certainly know what Dave Matzos wants to have up his sleeve in this game here tonight. So a coaching battle early on, you love to see it. Absolutely. And uh, Taylor managed to catch up with McElveen earlier uh, pre-game to get uh, his thoughts on the season. We're down here at ice level with head coach Mike McElveen. Congratulations on the new head coach position. Can you tell me some of the feelings that you have going into tonight? It's a very special night for both the team and the players and the fans. Yeah, just it's it's exciting. Home opener here. There's such a history in London with the Nats. I'm very fortunate. I feel privileged to be a, a head coach, part of the history here. I'm um, coming from a tradition in, in Waterloo with the Siskins too, long history. So uh, I'm, again, 
just excited about the opportunity and, and thank the, the organization from Paul and Shelly for bringing me on board here. Awesome. And what can we expect from you this season? Well, I think from our, our, our group, definitely um, a team first approach, uh, a group that's going to compete each night. Um, it's a young group. We're pretty hungry, lots of learning um, and lots of excitement, uh, fast skating club. We want to bring that. We want to bring a game plan that's also structured and disciplined. And I'm a very composed guy and, and I need my teams and want my teams to be that way too on and off the ice. So. And from the short amount of time that you've spent with the group, what kind of potential do you see in them for this season? You know, new faces on the bench, including yourself, but some of the older guys as well. What kind of leadership will you be looking for from them? Yeah, I think it's it's a combination. We don't have a lot of returning guys, but I think the guys we do, that leadership group's core and right away, the connectivity and the way they've uh, bonded with the new players. And we're all about, again, um, a team-first approach. And, and um, that togetherness, I think, right away we'll see. I think for us, um, again, playing fast is going to be something we want to do. It, they're going to be hungry. This, this league's so competitive, especially this Western Conference, that anybody can beat you at any night if you don't show up. So, you know, for us, it's just being structured in our game plan and, and uh, in our habits that we've been working on in practice and, and we bring every night. So we've got to bring those for three periods for 60 minutes. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Best of luck tonight. Gentlemen, we'll throw it back to you. Uh, well, what is the Nationals this year look like they could be a very dynamic team. As we just mentioned there, um, the youth is going to be big for this team, as we just saw. We only a few returning players on both the front and the back end. It's going to be a lot to rely on the youth to pick it up. And if they can be fast and pick it up, they really have a good chance of making this wide open division and possibly theirs. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, when you look at this team, you know, Mike McElveen wanted this team to be big fast and strong on the puck we you know this team last year they had the scoring early but then later on in the season they were struggling to find the back of the net so they went more with a physicality route but this year with having the big bodies and having offensive minded players new players a younger team last year with a bit of a more veteran team this year going with lots of new faces Certainly a team that has revenge on the mind after having a round two loss last season. Absolutely. You know, you got the chip on the shoulder of all those returning players who will really want to pick it up. And with no Leamington in the division now, this is a wide open conference for anybody to win. We'll be back with more of the London Nationals coverage here on Arcon Aggregates and Nationals Hockey on Rockies TV. This program is brought to you by the following sponsors. This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit Rogers.com for more details. Sports fans know Sundays are for football. That's why you need NFL Sunday tickets. With NFL Sunday Ticket, you'll get every live game, every Sunday afternoon, all season long. Follow your favorite teams and players live in HD. Order NFL Sunday Ticket and get up to 200 regular season games. Call 1-888-ROGERS-1 today. I'm Nicole Martin, the proud ambassador for the Comfort Bear program. Comfort Bears provide these cuddly bears to local children who are terminally ill, facing trauma, or battling a serious illness. Every $20 donation will place a Comfort Bear into the loving arms of a child involved in our program. It is our hope to distribute 1,000 bears in 2022. Please join us and provide comfort to kids in their time of need. watching Rogers TV. Did you know all the camera operators for tonight's game are volunteers? Rogers TV volunteers learn the skills needed to put on a show, including camera, audio, graphics, and more. If you're interested, visit RogersTV.com volunteer to sign up.
Back here at the Western Fair Sports Center as we get set for puck drop here in the London Nationals home opener. Uh, it is, however, the Nationals' second game of the season. Them falling to the LaSalle Vipers in their first contest. Uh, not, not the greatest showing of what the Nationals want, but still impressive for some of the younger players on the team. Yeah, good debuts by the new players on the Nationals being able to get on the score sheet. Early, you can see McNamara and Rogers getting their first GOJHL goal. So ha they're happy to get the first, but not happy that they weren't able to get the result. We were talking again before the game how they, the Nationals felt that that was their game to win and that the LaSalle Vipers were a little bit of a slower team and that the Nationals took too many penalties. And that was something that struggled with this team early on in last season. So this is, again, with it only being the second game, no one's going to end up being perfect. It's going to be sloppy to start, but something that the Nationals early on this season that they're going to want to clean up is the ability to not take those dumb penalties and try to keep themselves out of the penalty box. Absolutely. Miller and Chip in there as well. You see picking up points. Uh, a couple more new Nationals out there picking up the offense. Always good to see a couple new faces helping out, especially when they, when they need it. Um, now, with the, the way the team is right now, I think another issue that I did see through the uh, the game on uh, against LaSalle there, um, they obviously couldn't get much offense going. They had a bit of sloppy play. Expect that. The other thing I think that needs to be tightened up a bit, power play. It went over 4 on the power play. Not something we're traditionally used to seeing from this London Nationals roster, no matter who's in charge of it. Um, the last four or five seasons, we're used to expecting a Nationals uh, power play uh, clicking at about 30%. So hopefully those numbers will improve tonight and going forward. Yeah, and it all starts again with being able to get a chemistry with this group. And again, with it only being the second game of the regular season, this, this group hasn't been able to get their chemistry going just yet, especially on their power play. But expect them to have worked on it during practice and being able to move the puck around and finding the right shooting area to get it into the back of the net. So certainly this is something that they will work on continuous throughout the season and try to be top amongst the GOJHL. They're going to try to do their best to be on top of their game tonight. One team who you know is going to be on top of their team right now is going to be them, the St. Thomas Stars right now. A team that traditionally does play on a smaller rink as opposed to here at the Western Fair Sports Center. But the benefit that they have is you have Dave Mastos behind the bench, a guy who's coached the Nationals all of last season, has that experience knowing how to prepare his team to come out here, uh, looking at who's coming out on the bench, on the ice there first. It's going to be Alexei Medvedev, the uh, second round pick for the London Knights uh, wearing number seven a very non-traditional Goldie number and um, it will be very interesting to see what happens with, between the pipes for the Stars going forward yeah again we didn't get exactly 100% confirmation on who the St. Thomas goaltender is going to be tonight it could also be Slotez as well as he currently looks to be leading the charge out there and Slotez he got the one win so far for the St. Thomas Stars this season only allowing two goals in the winning effort but regardless the St. Thomas Stars this season are set in goal with Medvedev and Slotez being able to carry the load and for the Nationals you've got Carter Froggett and Gavin DeSano on their side as well so goaltending going to be very strong for these two teams as Slotez leads this group out onto the ice Interesting thing with uh, Car with uh, Carter Froggen as well. Um, only played two games for the Nationals last season, uh, including the home opener. So back-to-back <laughs> -back seasons, uh, the home opener goal, home opening goal behind for the Nationals. Uh, but it does, as you just said, it does look like Solchess will be starting in net for the Stars, as uh, they're going to try to put their best foot forward and can uh, spoil the night's the Nationals' home opener. Yeah, and again, going back to Carter Froggen again last year. The goaltenders of start last season were Aiden Berry and Michael Elmslin. When we got here to the rink last year for the home opener, we found out from the Nationals that both Berry and Elmsley were out with a sickness and that all of a sudden Carter Froggett, who had to be an AP player, had to start in net for the Nationals and got them the 8-3 win. So it was starting off on the right foot for the Nationals. So that's something that the Nationals will want again coming out of Carter Froggett being the number one guy for this team this year. And with that, we're going to send it down low to ice level for our opening ceremonies and puck drop.
all white. I take it.
figure out. Now remain standing and join Candace Bergo in the singing of our national anthem. set for our opening face-off, taking a look at head coach of the St. Thomas Stars, Dave Matsdos, uh, who spent the last two seasons behind the bench of the Oilers Nationals, having a 68-22-6-2 record with the Nationals, so very successful with the blue and white. We'll see how he does with the green, gold, and black of the Stars. It will be a very interesting matchup between the two teams here. First matchup of the season, third game of the season for the Stars, second for the Nationals. Yeah, and a familiar face of Dave Matzos again coming here to London, coaching two years with this squad, being able to get them into the postseason and have somewhat decent success. Now going back to where he currently resides in St. Thomas, Ontario. Easier travel for him now. Probably having to go to the Joe Coach Community Center for his own game. Nonetheless, we come back here in game number three against the former squad and three years to go. On the other side, it's a home debut for Mike McCalvey, the new McAvoy the new head coach of the London Nationals. I'm sure he got his players ready to go for the home opener, and certainly an exciting start to the 2023-24 season. Both teams line up here as we are up to be underway. Face off, initially won by the Nationals. They're going to kick it up, trying to move it out. Brought back to the blue line, picked up now by Fish. He'll bank off the ward just out of the reach of the pain. That will go all the way down. Slow chest will play into the corner. They will be picked up and sent around by Law. Back up into the neutral ice. Cross the blue line, come the Stars. Nice little move. He's going to move in, takes a shot. Beautiful glove save there by Carter Froggett, starting off the ball. Good little play. 
play there by the St. Thomas Stars, being able to just chip and chase it all the way into the offensive zone. And then a good little shot there, good block down low made there by Fisher, taking away the passing lane. And a good early start for Carter Frog being able to get the flashy glove save out early. Faceoff gets reset, and out comes the Nationals, picking up the faceoff win once again. Over to Wood. New captain Riley Wood. He'll move the puck out. Brought across the blue line. Tries to Derek down low. The puck gets sent into the far corner. Battle on the boards. Stars try to come away with it. Puck ends up going behind the net. Puck will be picked up by Hirsch. He'll move it back to the blue line. Tipped out front. Loose puck down low. Kicked into the corner by the Stars. Turn around, nice pick off out of midair. Wood's gonna walk in, takes him two, inside out, scores! Riley Wood nails it to scoring. Well, why not have the captain start the scoring off? A nice little play there by Riley Wood to actually be able to get the puck in midair, bring it back down, and not make it a hand pass and be able to score that one in the back of the net, nice inside out move. And uh, into the back of the net, only a minute into tonight's contest, making it one nothing London. This is the start that the Nationals wanted, being able to gain control, turn it from a quick chance into the back of the net. Great patience as well. I believe that was by Hirsch, but the, just hold back and not touch the puck. Let Wood do his thing, gets the open ice, and just beautiful move around Slochis. Turn around the other way. Here come the Stars. Appleford. Moves it down in the offensive zone. Huge. Back to the blue line. Dodge it. He takes a shot. Blue line takes him on a chance. Rebound. And Froggett, beautiful save, holds on. Quite the scramble effort there by Carter Froggett. The puck right around the blue paint. And he's able just to corral that one and not allow a rebound. That's, some, that's one thing that we saw Froggett do last year in the home openers. His rebound control is really good. Down in tight. Puck gets moved around behind the net. Fisher, he's going to try to move it up. Gets it up to boards to McNamara. Bounces back behind the net. Nationals try to move it out, get to the neutral zone, and sent right back in by the Stars. Froggett comes out to play it. This is off to Fisher. Fisher, nice little move. Outlet pass. Breaking out of the zone. Here comes Nolan Miller. Across the blue line, he tries to just dump it in, chase after it, but still by the Stars. Van de Ven. He'll move the puck out into the neutral ice. Fisher will corral it. Nice bank pass off the wall. Just out of the reach. And one of the streaky national forwards. Shot goes right in from distance onto the glove of Froggett, and he'll hang on. And as we expect, sloppy play to start. That's what you normally see during the early portion of a regular season is the passes aren't going to be crisp. You know, the shots aren't exactly going to be grade eight scoring chances yet, but nonetheless with the Nationals and Riley Wood, when you have that type of time and space, you're able to capitalize on those moments. Absolutely, and that's all it takes for someone like Riley Wood, who is a proven goal scorer in this league. Over to Ducharme, he'll move the puck out. Gets it to the blue line, stays on side. Tries to get a little bit of help from LeBlanc, but gets turned around. Begin. He'll send it in. That goes all the way down the length of the ice and goes for an icing. So we'll reset to the left hand side of Carter Froggett. Yeah, another thing worth mentioning as well is the ice sat for quite a while after warm up. So that would have resulted in the ice getting a nice dry sheet. But nonetheless, that makes the puck extra slide, a little gloss, a little extra slide, slippery on the ice surface, which is resulting in the puck bouncing a lot on the ice and the reason for that icing. Long, he'll take it out, moves it up to the blue line, kept in, right? Good play by the Stars. Sent right back in, Fagan will try to move it back out, gets it up to the top of the circle, Van de Van will keep it in. Get it low. Van de Van can't quite hold it, here come the Nationals the other way. Right in front, takes a shot, break a beautiful chance there by Ducharme, but held on to by Slojic as it goes right back out. Rebound chance again, but no shot this time. Fagan at the blue line. Walks the line, looking for that pass. 
Dubs it down into the corner. Van de Van will pick it up. He'll spin, look for an outlet pass, get some pressure on him by Rogers. Good. Star is going to take the zone. Shot from distance, Glove down again by Froggett. Aggressive glove work so far early in this game by Carter Frog. Yeah, he's looking sharp so far. And, for, and we're looking to get a look at Schlotz has a save there in tight again. With the ice surface being glossy like it is, a missed read by the defenseman trying to make the poke check. A chance right in the slot. Good early save there by Schlotz as early. Being able to get aggressive and get out the pass. Breakout pass to LePan. He'll bring it over. Blue line. Dumps it down low. Rogers will pick it up. Millen available on the far side. He's back. Tries to send it back down in the corner. That gets stripped off him. Gets the ball back out. Up to the blue line. Loose puck. Here come the Stars. Get an opportunity. Takes a shot. Another glove save again by Froggy. And again, early on, Froggy doing a good job of reading where the shot is going to potentially go, knowing. The pressure from the outside, he's not going to really gonna elevate that puck or else it's going to go high and wide. So it's just about getting the shot on the net and Frog being able to read it well, getting the low glove save. Puck goes down behind the net, now be picked up on the near side. Back off the high wall, stolen by English. He's going to take an opportunity, walks right in the slot. Doesn't like his shooting lane, now puts it on net. Out of the side by Frog. Up to the top of the circle, can't, still can't get it out. English doing a great job holding the line. Puck does finally squeak out, comes the other way now. Callum Palmer, he's going to lead the rush. He's got Wood with him. Loses in his feet, however. Will recover and bring it down behind the net. Sends it right in the middle of the ice. Nobody there to pick it up. Across the blue line comes the star. He'll make a nice little move. He gets taken down. We're going to see our first penalty of the game. Going to be a tripping call going to the Nationals on that play. And it's going to be Josh Ruin going on that for the trip. You can see it right there. Down goes the St. Thomas player and goes our first power play of the game for the St. Thomas Stars. Face off one by the Nationals. They're just going to break it out of the zone. Gets it up by McNamara. Now clear the zone. He's going to drive right down or slow chest to make the move the puck. Quickly back around. Out of back out. Franzen. Picked up to the blue line. Does clear the zone. Picked up again. The puck goes high and ends up hitting the Raptors. And out of play. Yeah, an attempted clearing attempt on the play there. Now, something that we don't normally see too often is the puck actually hitting the rafters here at the Western Virginia Center, but an errant stick, and that results in another offensive zone faceoff for St. Thomas. Puck right down low, going to be bowed for a low pace rock. He's in there, battling hard against two Stars players. Trying to get some help. Finally, Pucks does squeak out. Van Devet gets it up the blue line. He crosses it over. Back tries to get it down low. Franzen stolen by Pace Rock. Nashville's going to try to turn the other way. Three on two. Inside, walks in, tries to get a shot, but just a little too far out of the reach of LeBlanc. Behind the net now. Stars are going to set up again. 50 seconds left here in the power play. Van Devet. He'll lead it out. Up to Franzen. Franzen. Back to Van Devin. Stolen off his stick. Partial two on one. Now breakaway opportunity. LePay coming all the way. Takes a shot. Rebound. Scores! Colton Shipman puts the Nationals up 2-0. And a short hand goal. Well, for Chipman, this is what you would call Right. This is this, this is early hockey. This is just a bizarre goal. Just shorthanded, goes in, fans on the first one, but he ends up beating Slotez five hole on the second opportunity. And again, early on in the season, you're gonna see those types of moments where 
it's just going to be sloppy. And that regards to right. shorty. Yeah, absolutely right. Just a defensive lapse by the uh, the power play oh of the God. Stars. And uh, the Nationals take full advantage of it. And uh, oh, Starbucks with an early lead here, not even seven minutes into the game. Well, gets a hold of the ball, puck. He'll send it down the length of the ice. Fisher, he's going to put some pressure on the, on the Stars power play. And he does expire back at some five on five hockey as Ruland comes back. Icing is the call right after the penalty expires. So we will help them all the way down. So the Nationals get a bit of the luck too. Get some fresh skaters on the ice right away after the penalty kill. And now get an offensive zone start. And I know it's early to mention this, but so far in tonight's contest, the shooting accuracy, now that that one stopped there by slow test, it was at 50%. Two, go two goals on four shots, but now with it being five shots apiece, that's something, again, that early on in the season, I think both coaching staff want to see is get shots on the net early. The goaltenders won't have had as many reps as you'd like them to see early on in the season, but again, get try to get the puck on the net. Can't put, put too much blame on slow chest for those first two goals, though, as he is left all alone. Nobody there to help him on either play. Puck comes out. Stars are going to clear the zone. They'll break it all the way down. Puck goes and just hits the side of the net, so it will be another ice. Yeah, again, something else to mention as well is the Nationals with new uniforms this season. A slight adjustment to the jersey. They are basically Toronto Maple Leaf jerseys, basically with clean white. I love the look. And St. Thomas also as well, going with new uniforms as well with the black. What a nice jersey. <laughs> very similar. Both teams looking very clean in some new threads this year. Puck comes up to the blue line, almost held in. So the Stars are going to break it out. Across the blue line, takes a shot from distance. That goes right off the leg of Hagan. And we move back up to the blue line, crosses it into neutral ice. We picked up by Sturgeon. We'll set it back down. Nationals will collect it. Rogers will bring it back over to the blue Ooh. line. Holds the line. Good job as he gets to give time for Mill. Hey, the circle back. Waits, tries to get a puck down low. Bouncing puck kept into the blue line by Mill. Mill from a shot from distance. That gets through, but no one can get the rebound. Rogers back up to Kopchuk. Pop shot, pass over to Mill. Mill from distance takes a shot. Another penalty behind the play happening here as the Nationals go into the penalty kill for the second time tonight. And it will be on the stick of Atlee Rogers. Yeah, high stick on the play. Happened kind of right in the middle of the offensive zone there. And again, another penalty that the Nationals don't exactly want to take and results in another St. Thomas power play. The last time that the Stars went on the power play, they ended up allowing a goal and resulting in a national shorting. Puck comes out. Maybe will send it down the length of the ice. Gets up to the blue line of the Stars and then turn quickly back. Franzen. Franzen again now. He'll, look, he'll, look, he'll assess the situation. Over to Van de Ven. Right across the blue line. Almost stolen by McNamara, who would have had a clear-cut breakaway as himself. Aggressive penalty coming, penalty killing here by the Nationals. Try to jump it again by McNamara. As he ends up losing a stick on the play. Quickly gets off, gets some fresh legs off. Yikes. Grant sends it down low. Pass out front. Nice tic tac toe play, but can't get the shot. Rebound chance. And hits Rocket, but the Three. net is off. It's boring. Well, that's the first time that we've seen the net come off here this season. Only 10 minutes in, nothing else is new. But good pressure there by the St. Thomas Stars. Testing Froggett early down low in tight. And that's something that the Nationals want to work on as well, doing that front presence in the defensive zone. Shot 6-6 six, six so far here in the first. But the Stars do have some quality chances. But just uh, Carter Froggett flashing the leather every chance he's got. Another shot from distance. That one finds its way through, but can't be picked on the rebound. Loose puck down low. Frog gets down and out, but somehow the puck gets underneath him. On 
that play there, that's just Carter Frog just going all lock mode. Throw out the goaltending style, throw out how you do it. Just stop the puck at all costs. And on that play, that's just basically what he does. He throws himself at the puck. The puck just ends up underneath him and gets the save. Sometimes that's all you need to do to keep the puck out. Vanderman over to Franzen. Bring the puck down low again. Back up to Franzen. Down low, puck will be picked up by Long. Star is trying to open up the national power of a penalty kill. Trying to find those shooting lanes within the box. Shot from distance. That one gets tipped on the way to the net, ends up in the corner. Yeah. Tight penalty kill. Trying to jam away with it. Right at the corner is Long. Puck is put in down in the corner. Back out, loose puck. LeBlanc will pick it up. Tries to just drop it for Chipman, but it loses it in his feet. A little bit of confusion, but the Nationals will come away with it. Bank pass off the board, just out of the reach of Chipman, so it will go for an icing. And uh, Rogers trying to get off the ice, but he's going to have to stay on for a little bit longer. Yeah, and that was a better looking power play there from the St. Thomas Cars. They were able to move the puck around and get a few scoring chances, but Frog is able. Stand tall and a good job as well by the Nationals shorthanded unit as they were able to keep the puck along the outside for as long as they did. And they almost yet again had a shorthanded opportunity, but they weren't able to control the puck. Face off one by the Nationals. They're going to try to move it out. Gets it up to the blue line and carry it out. To the offensive zone, pinned along the far boards. And Palmer just blows a tire right in the corner. Rogers trying to help out, trying to get it back up to Fagan at the blue line. Sends it right back down low again. Hugin will get throw it around, rims around the boards, but can't quite clear the zone. Elliot will try to get it out. Puck does clear the zone. Nash is going to turn around quickly, however. Send it down in the offensive zone. Stars we set once again behind the net. Just under nine minutes left here in the period. Puck across the blue line. Valia, he puts it out front. Loose puck chance, tries to jam away at it, but just can't get it through. Seth Dugan cannot beat Carter Froggett. In the first period as it will be brought to you by Great West Wealth Management. Our first period of action. Carter, Carter Frog at the All Star so far for the Nationals tonight. Off of every piece of rubber set his way. I break out. The block. He's going to try to carry it out. Nice drive right to the net. Frog it falls mostly into the net. We don't know what the call is on the ice yet. But Payne thinks it's in. Well, this is the tough part when it comes to that type of play. Right? When your forward's driving the net like he is, Slotez, his, his momentum to keep going back into the net. Now, it lands in between his pads, and Slotez knows that because he's trying to use the poke to keep him away from the back of the net. And with it being in his pads, you can't tell if it's in or not. So regardless, referee waves it off and a face off to Slotez's left. As a forward, though, I was always taught when in doubt, celebrate anyway. Sometimes you get the call going your way. Puck goes all the way around, paid up. And live will probably label for it down in the corner. Rogers over to LePain. Gonna bank the puck up to the boards. Let's clear the zone. Lay will pick it up. He'll throw it in. Slow chips. Flex it, brings it out. The stars are going to try to break down. Nice play by Rogers as he just stops the momentum. Pass right up front, can't quite find it on the stick of LePayne. Picked up by Kopchak, Kopchak takes a shot. Held on to by Slochitz. Nice little play there by Adlin Rogers, right at the blue line, recognizing that the defenseman was gonna try to pass it through his legs, he's able to block the puck and able to create an opportunity for the Nationals. He tried to wait for a passing lane to open up. And he ends up missing his target, but it ends up still working out as an opportunity for the Nationals regardless. So a good, smart play by Adam Rogers early on. 
Play comes out. Picked up by McNamara. Yeah, yeah. Going around the world. Nice drop pass. Brought over. Fisher. on that puck by Pace Roth. And they hit the netting. Go on. Yeah, good pace by both of these teams to start the contest. Now London out shooting the St. Thomas Stars 11 to 8. And I'll keep on saying it with it being this early in the season. You're going to see mistakes. You're going to see sloppy play. Now comes down right on the boards. Wood. He'll flip it up, does keep it nice and low, oh, so it stays oh, in play. Oh, do a little too overzealous and stay out, go offside. Stars are trying to quickly turn around the other way. Ether can't get a hold of it. Made down low now, picked up by Caden Law. And to them, he's battling in the corner with Wood. Wood loses his stick. He's going to try to get some help as here comes Palmer. Fox squeezes out, picked up by Hirsch. Gets up to the blue line. Kopchak tries to hold it, but just going a little too far back on his momentum. So bounced into the neutral ice. Across the blue line, taking a hit, but manages to dump it down as Dahlia. Nationals turn the puck. Picked up by Lave. He'll move it out. Sandham will move it in. Stolen again by the Nationals. They'll try to do a breakout. Lost the red line into the Ooh. offensive zone. Kopchuk moves it over to Mill. Mill waits. Taking a look. Trying to find that pass. Nice cross ice pass over to Fisher. Fisher, he's going to take a shot from distance. That one just whistles wide. Big hit thrown on the far boards. No surprise there. Nolan Mill getting right back into the physicality. One of the key examples that size means nothing in the league sometimes. Fisher down to LePay. Moves it in. Now for the puck down low. Great drive by Rogers. He can't get a hold of it. He's going to get called for another penalty, however, as his stick ends up getting a little too energetic with it. Now he's up going for a slashing. Ball. So again, we're going to take a look at the hit thrown there by Nolan Milton right in front of the St. Thomas bench. And this is something we have seen before from Nolan Mill. He loves to throw the body around. And when a player's not looking around, seeing that here comes Mill, it's a great hit. And then, again, we're going to take a look at the penalty as the stick goes up high there by Rod. And the second penalty in this period so far, needing to just settle down a little bit. 
gotten that early jump into this contest. Uh, he's 0 for 2 so far on the power play with the Nationals with a short-handed goal. The second one of the game there by Chip. The Stars looking to try to turn their fortunes here. Bandit, they move it over to Pierre Long. That bounces up high into the netting and out of play. Good positional save made there by Froggett, just recognizing to get a whistle and get a fresh set of penalty killers out on the ice. Didn't need to glove that down or anything. Just a high shot, put it off the chest protector and up and out of play. Picked up now by the Stars again. Van Deven at the blue line. He'll take a shot from distance. Bouncing puck down low. Froggett makes the initial save. He gets a bit of support as the puck gets brought out. Across the blue line. Here comes Govermont. He'll try to move it down low. He gets hit off the puck. And by Chipman, sorry, and he follow, tries to follow it up. Vandeven. Nice pass over across the blue line. Here come the starts. Game long. Over to Franzen. Franzen. Nice cross ice pass. Walks in, takes a shot, just whistles it high and over the over the cross bar. the boards by Fagan. Back up top again. Franzen, he's going to walk in. He waits. Tries to take a shot at a sharp angle. Just misses wide. That's going to send the Stars all the way back down in their own zone to regroup. Nationals get a chance to reset. Get some fresh legs on the ice. Battle for the puck down low. Riley Wood, all time of dogged determination, getting on top of the puck. Long pass intended for Appleford. It was just over his stick, so the Nationals get a little bit of reprieve here. So all the way down for an offensive zone face. Okay, St. Thomas on this specific power play haven't been able to get the setup that they've wanted and try to work the puck around, but again, it's he said it with the National Penalty Guild doing a great job of just keeping the puck to the outside and not allowing many shots on the frog. Gets sent back around behind the Stars net. They'll try to make their own setup here. They're driving quickly out of the zone. Gavin White across the blue line. Sends down low pass. Right out front, right in the slot area. Appleford can't get a stick on. Nationals the other way. Rodden back on the ice. Five on five once again. Picked up by the paint right at the blue line. Continues to stay right with the puck. Stars after him every step of the way. Moves it up to the blue line. Play. Wait, fires. That gets deflected. Out in front of the puck. Gave all kinds of traffic. Nashville couldn't get the puck through. Way right down low. Collins. Tries to get a lead pass on it. Frog, it comes out. Bouncing puck loose. Oh, gets a little lucky on the bounce. Ends up going behind the net. That could have quite easily found the back of this Nationals net. And Froggett lost complete track of it. And Froggett is thanking his lucky stars that he's, that's not in the back of that. He attempts to play this, but it bounces up. And I think the stick of the Nationals D right out in front may have saved the goal as that was bouncing back towards the back of the net. It's a risky play when you see the goaltender come out of his net to try to play it in the position that he did. But nonetheless, he gets away with it. Miller, he's going to carry it across the blue line, gets stripped of the puck. Ends up sending it around the far side. Chipman tries to get a hold of him, but he can't beat the man, beat his man. Sandham moves it in the offensive zone, bounces right back up to the blue line. Can't quite do anything with it on the stars. Big collision in front of the stars net. Ash is going to try to change up some bodies on the ice. Arnold will bring it in for the stars. Bouncing puck in front of the net. Fisher spins, gets it up to LeBlanc. LeBlanc, draw pass to Palmer. Palmer waits, can't find a target he likes. Moves around in the far corner, last minute of play here in the first. Puck gets sent all the way down the length of the ice, so not an icing will be called. And just as the Nationals start moving out their top line, getting an offensive zone draw. So far, I'm seeing the Nationals doing a really good job of using the boards here to their advantage. There was one sequence where 
They just brimmed it around knowing that there was going to be fresh skaters coming off the ice, being able to enter the play and get the puck on a hard dump around. Just smart board play use by the Nationals so far, just recognizing using their home ice to their advantage. And even for their, some of the new faces on the team, they still get a choice, to, a chance to feel for the ice. You get to practice here a bit more often so you get used to the bigger ice surface. Played down low, Nationals will try to move it out front. Doesn't like the, the options there by Hirsch. Bouncing puck, kept in the blue line. Now will bounce out. Wood, shot from long distance, goes right onto the body of Slochis, and he'll hang on, but dishes it out before the whistle blows. Back across the blue line, here come the Stars. Last chance, takes a shot, bounced off the glove of Froggett. Quickly turn the other way, 10 seconds left. Nashville's gonna try to get one more shot here. Walks in, Palmer, over shot, shoots, and it was, a, what a save. Huge, just sprawling play by Slochis. I mean, we're only in game one, and this is save of the year already. Stretch path, and he, I, I believe he gets his blocker down on it. The puck then deflects down in behind his pad and able to secure it. What a save made there by Wyatt Schlotes in game number three of the season for St. Thomas, but already save of the year so far, keeping it at two. Absolutely. The Nationals try to see another shot quickly right at the end, but are unable to, but we'll head into the first intermission by a score of 2-0. You are watching Arcon Aggregates Nationals Hockey here on Rod. I started with uh, Rogers TV back in the summer of 2021. So I went to journalism school, so I had more experience on the other side of the camera. And so I thought getting some behind the camera experience would be better for career advancement. Uh, some of the things I've learned as a volunteer is how to set up the cameras, how to tear them down, how to set up uh, commentators, headsets, things like that. I'd say just go for it. There's no really commitment for hours. It's, you get the opportunity to meet a lot of uh, great people and you get to cover some great events. Uh, what it means to be a volunteer with, Roger, with Rogers is um, uh, you get to connect to the community in ways that people don't necessarily see, like with hockey games or racing or baseball, things like that. Uh, I'd, I'd say, yeah, just um, uh, just go for it. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. You meet a lot of great people and um, uh, it, yeah, it's over it's just a great time. The regulars, the guys who keep this place in business. Last week, they had something to celebrate. Jason had just finished university. So they toasted his profs, his TAs, his old roommates. Well, they toasted just about everyone. But I worry about and take care of my guys. So even when I know they're not driving, sometimes that means bringing them a little surprise. And then they had a drink to me. Brought to you by Smart Serve Ontario and Arrive Alive, Drive Sober. with captain of the St. Thomas Stars, Harrison Franson. At just 17 years old, you are the captain of the St. Thomas Stars. Tell me what that's like. No, it's, uh, it's an honor. Um, I, can't, I can't believe it. It's kind of, it's great to uh, lead this team. They're a great team. We have a great group of boys here. Hopefully we can uh, come uh, top, top in the league here. It's obviously difficult coming into a different barn, especially on a big night like this. What was your message to the group going out tonight? Uh, we just got to work hard, get pucks deep, apply pressure. It's a big ice surface, so we have we have to skate here um, and just keep going and never give up. And finally, what are you going to do to bounce back here in the second frame? No, we're going to have to go back in the room, talk to the boys, get them going again. And you know, we just got to keep getting pucks deep and just keep going on them, get shots. You know, that's it. Thank you so much, Harrison Franson. Best of luck tonight. We'll send it back to the boys upstairs. Gentlemen. You're watching You're watching Linda Nationals Hockey on Rogers TV.
girls who don't get the support and encouragement that they need when they're little grow into women who look for support and encouragement in all the wrong places. Let's give our girls the tools and resources they need when they're little so they can grow into bold and courageous women. As parents, let's learn how to identify and enhance our children's gifts. You don't want to miss learning from our expert mental health providers chosen specifically for the Yes I Can event. Our mental health experts are going to help our girls with topics that are on their minds today. Like, how do I make new friendships? But how do I break old ones that are unhealthy? How do I learn to feel good in my own skin? And how do I say no without feeling guilty? Go to www.waymakerinc.ca for more information and to register. I'm Wendell Clark with a word about winning. We all know it takes a team effort in any sport and with any challenge. You can be a part of the winning team that shuts out impaired driving. Whether you're out on the town or just hanging out with friends, drink responsibly. Always have a plan for a safe ride home for yourself, your family, and your friends. You'll be helping to shut out impaired driving. Visit ArrivalLive.org to find out more. Arrive Alive. Drive sober. Watch, play, and win every Monday night at 8 p.m. with Optimus TV Bingo on Rogers TV. Cods are available at multiple London locations that are good for all three games. Weekly jackpots total $3,000. And back here at the Western Fair Sports Center, after 20 minutes of play, the London Nationals coming out to a strong 2 0 lead here over the St. Thomas Stars. And uh, it seems that no matter what Dave Mastos could have done behind the bench, uh, the Nationals were a little more prepared so far. Yeah, right off the hop, it starts with the leadership group and the experienced players with Riley Wood being able to capitalize on a scoring chance that he was able to start the play himself, being able to take what was going to be a turnover and the St. Thomas going the other way. Wood able to grab the puck, bring it down. The wherewithal to just take it to the net, make the inside out move and then bury it. And then for Chipman's short hand, it just a breakdown in coverage by the St. Thomas Stars. Take a look at what we did see on that Riley Wood one. Just a beautiful play, climbing the ladder. And just a great read there by Hirsch to keep his stick away, or by Palmer, I mean, to keep his hand away from the puck. And then just another broken play. St. Thomas' defense just breaks down, and Chipman fans on it initially, and then just capitalizes on it. Uh, slow chase, you can't blame on either of those plays there. And see Wood, his first of the season by Palmer, and then Chipman, his first shorthanded assist by LeBlanc. Uh, as the Nationals come out, with dip, despite the Nationals having three penalties, um, 14 to 11 are the shots in favor of the Nationals. Yeah, it was a period that the Nationals were able to have most control of. Yes, they did get into penalty trouble in that period, but regardless, a shorthanded goal, even a strength goal, I'm sure that's something that Mark McAlveen is something that he loved to see. Didn't want him to see the penalties early on, but nonetheless, a 2-0 start here in the home opener is a good sign to make it another win for the home opener and move their record to 7-4 and four in their last 11. This makes sense, though, is what we uh, Who has not been sloppy, though, have been the two netminders, and Wyatt Slowchess, who, for the St. Thomas Stars, has been pretty stellar in between the pipes for the Stars, as getting a lot of opportunities and really doing a great job staying on his head. And for Slothas, like you mentioned, not the two goals that he had weren't exactly his fault. Just got left out to dry. But again, just smart play by the St. Thomas netminder able to control the puck, keep it in front of him. And he made some really nice saves, especially at the end there at that breakaway chance. He's able to keep the puck out of the back of the net. This game could easily be four, if not five, nothing, if not for Wyatt Slothas to start this game. And so he's sending a message to the boys, you know, yes, we're down by two, but nonetheless, I'm putting the work in to try to keep us in this game and get two points. Absolutely. He's doing his job. He's doing it the best he can to keep his team in it, uh, as is his counterpart at the other end, Carter Froggett. Uh, very similar to what we saw for him last year when he saw, did the home opener, picking up a win in that game, and uh, just looked very impressive. Flashing that glove constantly in that first period. Yeah, and Froggett's the type of goaltender that all he wants to do is just keep the puck in front of him, you know. Yes, he's a butterfly goaltender, but sometimes there's moments where you just have to say, throw away the goaltending style and just stop the puck at any given moment. And he throws his body at the puck in positions where he's able to just keep it in front of him. We talked about his rebound control being so good, and that's why he earned himself 
a contract with the Windsor Spitfires being the third goaltender for them this season and expect Froggett to carry a lot of the workload here for the Nationals this season. Would not be surprised as anything from what we've seen today, that could be things to come. Great start for the Nationals, netminder. Now the other thing that we mentioned, as we said, sloppy plays so far, but it's mostly been on the side of the Nationals, especially when it comes to disciplinary stuff. The Stars have been very clean so far, haven't really, got, haven't really taken anything. Uh, that very well may change. It's tough to put a clean sheet up, especially in the first game of a, of a uh, season or a game like this early in the season. So we'll have to keep an eye out for special teams because the Nationals, as we mentioned at the top of the show, uh, power play still yet to strike so far, and you know they'd love to get that first goal here on home ice. Definitely. I mean, last year it was the one thing that Dave Matzos wanted this team to do is clean up their penalty trouble, and so far three, like you mentioned, three in the first period, that's something that they're going to want to obviously clean up. But again, with it being early in the season, you're going to have those types of moments with Atlee Rogers having two of those three penalties. He's going to want to clean that up. But I've liked his game when he's not been in the penalty box. He's been very fast, strong on the puck, creative in being able to find the open man as well. But again, it's just staying out of the penalty box, keeping the five on play game strong and continuing the momentum as they have that two goal lead. Absolutely. 20 minutes down, 40 minutes to go here as we get set here for our second period action on the Archon Aggregates of National Hockey here at Five. I was born and raised in Musqueam First Nation territory by my mother who spoke Hunkaminam to me. As a child, I ceased using my mother tongue as to use any language other than English was considered not being Canadian, so I was told. The old people came to me in a dream and reminded me of who I am and where I come from. I have reawakened. My roots are strong and I'm no longer a silent speaker. My language tells me where I'm from. It defines me and guides me to teach others to learn and understand our culture and tradition. A gift for those in the present and the unborn generation. What was lost is found. What was asleep has awakened. My blood is here and I am complete. I have returned home. Summer days, summer nights, lots of things to do, places to go and people to see. If you're having a few drinks, be sure to plan ahead and get home safely. We don't want to pick you up. Drinking drivers risk injuries to themselves and others and take chances with their license, their jobs and their future. Remember what's at stake and choose your ride, whether you're the driver, the passenger or the party host. Thanks for supporting Sober Driving. I hope we never meet. Visit ArrivalLive.org to find out more. takes readers behind the scenes and beyond the box scores, offering news, analysis, long form, and interviews, all produced by local journalists. Catch the coverage at GameDayLondon.com. Get set here for second period of action. Uh, the Stars and the Nationals. Nationals up 2-0 uh, here in the after 20 minutes of play. Uh, it has been, like as we said, it, sloppy is the story of the game, but it's still been a very competitive contest between these two teams. Both teams getting their licks in and getting their chances, and we saw right at the end of the period there, saw a little more pushing and shoving, so we're starting to see a bit of that, uh, that rivalry between these two teams. Yeah, Battle of Highbury Avenue, you're going to see the physicality quite a bit between these two teams, and the Nationals have done a good job of that so far in the contest. Nolan Milne throwing a really nice hit along the far side boards. And it's just one of those situations where early on in the season, yes, you know, we're going to say this a lot tonight about it being early in the season and being sloppy play. So how can you fix that? You fix that by you being physical on the boards, throwing the hits, and getting the puck in any shape or form that you can and getting it down inside the offensive zone. So the Nationals did a good job of that, getting the puck. But once again, St. Thomas, they are not out of this game yet, only down two. We know that the St. Thomas team can come back in this game. It's just a question of whether or not will they have the will to do so and try to break Carter Froggett so far. Stopping 11 shots so far, and then Nationals have 14. Two have gotten through. Slow says that weren't his fault. His D could have helped him out a little bit more. But again, in the second period, it's kind of a pushback. Puck drop here as we start off the second period. Rule over to Fish. 
Ooh, and he'll move it in. He gets tripped up. No call on the play. He'll carry it keep the puck though. Takes a shot. And slow chest makes the save with the glove and hangs on. Yeah, good keep at the line there by Ruland. Just able to knock that puck down and then gets tripped up just a little bit. That's the wherewithal to see that the puck is still got forward progress. He just ends up throwing a shot onto slow chest and creates an offensive faceoff for the Nationals. Just smart hockey. Pick up Roulette. He takes another shot. That one hits a body out front. Picked up by LePayne. He tries to move it to the front of the net and does. Kept in by Fisher. He'll move it down low. Nobody in front of the net for the Nationals. They just spread out a little too well. Picked up now. Mill. He walks it. Takes a shot from distance. That hits a body out front. That one going off the body of Ethan. Played around. Puck goes high. That will clear the zone. In the neutral ice. Waiting on his mill. His head over Ruland. And against the boards by Mill. Still hooked on the stick. One time chance right in the slot. But Long just can't get enough on it. I think he just fanned on it the last second. Down low again. Fisher going to drive for it. Big hand throw right down. Now come by France. Half of the Stars, short leading by example, bringing up the physical play. Right back up along the boards. Nationals are going to try to move it out. Taken up by Mill. Nice lead pass just a bit too far behind LaPayne. And that will come all the way back down to the Nationals. And we talked about physicality so far tonight. And here's another hit thrown by France. And the captain of the St. Thomas interview with Taylor, he's wanted to get the boys going, and that's how you get the boys going on the bench, being able to throw some weight around, and that's exactly what Franson does on that play. Again, and he'll take a shot from distance. That goes off a pad. A froggy. Good chance down low again. Stars making, moving the puck around well. Nice to, uh, defensive play right at the blue line by Rogers. Rogers has, does have two penalties on the night, but does show his aggressiveness on the play. Holds up some of that, some of that discipline. He's going to be very effective if he keeps on the puck like that. Ball back over. Pace Roth. He's going to take it down low. Can't find a play. A shot. Takes a shot. Shoots it. Scores! Jeremy Hirsch puts it on the board. And take a 3-0 lead. Well, what looked to be an innocent play ends up being a reward for Jeremy Hirsch. Good passing play, and Pace Rob kind of loses control, but he does the right thing, just puts it back towards the front of the net, and Hirsch standing right in the slot. Again, just squeaks through the pads of Slotez, and now a 3-0 lead, just two and a half minutes into period number two, so another good start here by the Nationals. That's a, that's a goal you do with your slow chest you want back. Not his uh, finest moment. Out, that one squeaks through. Callum Palmer down low. Circles around, spins it, throws it down into the far corner. Hirsch, he tries to get a stick on it, gets some help from Wood. Good defensive play by the Stars to keep the puck away. Back up the wall, that one goes far side. Come neutralize first. She's gonna have to wait. Carries it across the blue line and he'll just hold on. Goes out and touches up. Offside, get a hold of it. Set back in. Chip and nice steal. Carries it down low. Nobody there for that outlet pass out front. Gets the puck right back. Gonna try it again. Takes a shot, a sharp angle. It slow chest up high and goes out of play. Again, just a smart play made there by Chipman. Recognizing that he's not able to center that puck originally, he goes back around the net and then ends up trying to go upstairs over top of Slotez. But Slotez just does a good job of standing tall and putting that puck up and out of playing it fresh legs on the ice. Puck comes back out. Green line sent to the offensive zone. Rogan will take it, send it around the board. That's in the blue line by Sandin. Around quickly again by McNamara. 
Patrick Merritt. Drop pass to Miller. Miller trying to take a shot. A bobbling shot gets through, but can't quite get to the net. McNamara having a bit of equipment problems as he's trying to get off the ice. Nice hit thrown there by Kotchuk. He's getting on the physical action on the side of the puck. Kotchuk, nice poke check, gets the puck out. Set right back in out of the pads of, of Krogan. Long. Sends it down, that hits a skate. Quickly slip back into the neutral ice, and I'll go down the length of the ice. And just far enough for an icing. Looks like Lave was trying to get off the ice, but the uh, linesman holds him off at the last second. And the right idea there by Michael Kopchak on that play, just trying to get it up and out of the defensive zone and allow the change, but just a little too much sauce on that puck results in the icing. Face off one by the Nationals. They're going to take an easy chance moving it out of the zone by Ducharme. It's over Chipman. Chipman trying to bobble with the puck. Ends up going loose and be picked up now by, Lo by Long. Long, draw pass. Takes a shot. That one just goes a bit high and out of play. Froggett pointing to try to send the puck out of the zone. And again, a good little play there by St. Thomas on the drop back. Not exactly the best shot choice as that was going to go wide regardless. On that play, you'd maybe prefer for him to stop up and try to create a little more open space and then throw the shot on the net. But regardless, it, the faceoff comes outside. And back in from the Stars, they'll try to go on the attack. Up center around the net. And to the far side. English can't get a hold of it. Sent behind the net. Nash will pick it up again. Fisher will try to bring it out. Lead pass by Fisher into the offensive zone. Nash will take the zone, bring it down low. Back up Ruin. He'll take a shot. Everyone lost track of the puck. Does go over. Stays in play, however. He tries to get a puck out front. Can't quite get it onto, the, onto his man's stick. That's out of the stick, uh, reach of the paint. Sent down the length of the ice, does get tipped, so no icing on the play. Roll it. Pick it up, trying to move it back out. It's off the wall, foot race again for the puck. Still going to be no icing as it gets tipped. Just out of the reach of LePayne. This time it will go for an icing, as that one's just out of the reach of Kate Hall. And it's also worth mentioning with Mike. McElveen behind the bench and another and bringing an assistant coach in former London National Noah Took as well someone you very well know Kyle and Took being a former national player. Yeah, covered Took on the Nationals for quite a few seasons. A pretty dynamite player in, in, his, in his time with the blue and white. Brought back down, here comes Miller, fighting off his man, gets the puck over to LePayne. LePayne, nice play, just drop past the pace, Rob, he walks in, puts it right off the post! And the Nationals can't quite capitalize on it as just a lucky break for Souls for Slochus. That's how one stays out somehow. And again, another lucky break in that side of the ice as Pace Roth just throws this one on net, ends up hitting square off the post and right back into Slotes as, as this side of the ice has had a couple of weird bounces so far in tonight's game where Fraga tried to play a puck, almost went in on him. Another situation where it goes just off the post and Pate Roth almost gets his first. I can't play by, by Wood, goes all the way down low, brought back out. Rogers can't quite get it onto his forehand for the shot. Maintains possession, however. Battle in front of the net, two Nationals, three, two stars. It's sent into the far corner. Take it. He'll bring it down low. Picks up now by Wood. Nice job. He's just been grabbing everything out of midair right now. Riley Wood tries to get it out. He gets tripped up. No call again. Back over to Pace Rock. Sends it out in the neutral ice. Turn around. Sent down back in the offensive zone by Blake. 
This run, lead pass up to Rogers. Tries to get it through one man, does, but can't beat the second. Diving play, great work by Pace Roth, sends the Nationals on a four on one. Palmer, Pace Roth shoots, huge save by Slogis. And Pace Roth kind of getting burned again, a four on one, they work it to Pace Roth in the high slot, and he tries to put a heavy shot low on Slotin, and he's able to tighten the pads up and make the save, and a big one there as the Nationals were in four on one. Good early save again by Slotez. Absolutely. Face off one by the Stars. Picked up now by Arnold. Arnold blows a tire. Nashville's going to kick the puck right back up. Palmer, he blows a tire as well. Aiden Law. Lead pass gets it across the blue line into the offensive zone. Quickly tries to turn around on the Nationals, but stays on the stick of end of it. Down low, leg. Tries to get the puck out. He gets tumbled. He tumbles down. Top truck in there for support. Gets over to Wood. Wood takes a big hit along the boards. Ash is trying to get all kinds of battle for the puck going. Just a great work there by Caden Lake as he'll get the puck out. Into the offensive zone and will dump it down behind the Stars net. Collected by Talon Palmer. Off to Lake. He takes a shot. That one just goes wide. Picked up by Kopchuk on the far on the near side. He takes a shot from distance. That gets tipped and goes wide. Maeve again tries to bring it down low. He gets stopped up. Finally picked up now by Hugen. Gets it out. Puts it over to Fran Franson. Or Van de Ven. And Van de Ven will move it into the offensive zone. Rogan comes out to play the puck. Leaves as the Nationals try to break out. A little bit of a too long pass intended for McNamara. And that will send the Nationals back down to their own zone. A little strong of a pass there by Kopp. Chuck's trying to get the relay going on that play. And another opportunity here for St. Thomas with the tired group out there. Shot goes high, just tipped off something in front of the net. Doesn't quite get the fraud to frog it. Go out of play. And almost at the midway point here in the second period. Shots 17 15 in favor of the Nationals. As the puck goes right on to frog it. So once again, the left side of the halfway through the second period of action here. Stars have done not too much in the realm of offense. Getting very few chances right now. Many very neutral zone heavy second period. Nationals, however, do manage to extend their lead. Here comes Chip. He loses the puck off the back of the net. Up we picked up, brought back out the other way by Caden Law. Huge moves it out behind the net, punches it back out front, loose chance, shoots it, scores! Beautiful pass, beautiful shot, Cole Collins gets the stars on the board. Goal number two on the year for Cole Collins. And again, the puck just goes right into the high slot. As this is just a simple dump and chase and a good pass made there by Huge and getting Collins right in the slot leaving Froggett out to dry and just blasts it past him on the blocker's side. I mentioned how St. Thomas is not out of this game yet, and they've made it once again a two-goal lead for the Nationals. Nolan Miller, you saw, try to dive in to get, a, get in front of that puck, but just couldn't get there in time to beat Collins. Nationals are going to try to quickly strike back the other way. Pace Roth fans on the shot. Good! Across the blue line by Long. He gets stalled up, pinned against the boards. Now squeezed out in the middle of the ice. Official pass gets blocked. Is and then we'll end up going offside as uh, Ducharme gets stalled up just a bit too long. And a good opportunity here for Tanner Ducharme. You know, a call up 
here in tonight's game. He was, we were told before the game, he was going to just take the warm up in tonight's contest, but he is able to actually get into tonight's game. So his very first GOJHL contest for Ducharme, and he's done well so far in this game. Face off just outside the Stars zone. Blake won by the Stars. Puck sent over to Blake. He'll move it up to France. Quite hold on to it. Stole by Pace Roth. He tries to get a lead pass over to Milne. Hanging around the boards, fell over to Franzen. <laughs> Kept in now by Milne. Milne cross ice pass, walks in, takes a shot. A nice save there by Slochitz. Got a rebound chance. Milne with the bottom of their shot on net. Trying to get a hold of it again is LePayne. Back out front, Stars are going to clear the zone. And we brought back out, carries it all the way down the length of the ice. Trying to poke check outside. There we go. Lost the stick. Now it's Froggett. We'll clear the zone. Froggett quickly going to try to hustle out to get his stick back. No! Ether gets the puck. Gets back gets tipped off a speck of his Nationals players with no icings. Megan, he'll move the puck down. Nice pass right in the middle. Takes a shot. That goes up high. Nationals heading to the box again. And their fourth penalty of the night. And it looks like PJ Fagan's going to go for head contact on the play. And once again, St. Thomas gets to go to their fourth power play of the contest. As Fagan goes off for the head contact, we'll see if it's either going to be a two-minute variety or four. It's going to be two. And I'm just going to wait to put that one up on the scoreboard. And again, even though the St. Thomas's power play hasn't exactly quite yet clicked, they've been able to move the puck around and test Froggett. In that first period, Froggett had to really work so far, and it looks like with it being a head contact, it's the two and the ten variety. So the two-minute minor will be served by the player going into the box. And yeah, the ten-minute misconduct the box. will be assessed to Fagan. So another opportunity here for the Stars. This is what they need to get back in this contest. A goal here puts them within one. See if the power play can finally strike, finally strike goal. The puck down low, throws it around the boards. That one goes a little too far. Man's to keep in by Collins. Collins bouncing puck ends up coming out. McNamara, he's going to get a hold of it. He'll send it back down to Lake. Throws it right back out. Ether gets a nice to get the hold of it, but it's stolen quickly by Miller. A little too lackadaisical by the uh, Stars power play as the Nationals penalty kill is taking this very seriously and jumping on every little mistake yeah. that the Stars are making. Oh Apple, Apple, he'll throw it in, but quickly thrown back right down in the Stars zone. Hey. Stars have to set up once again. Palmer, the lone forward, up for the Nationals. Up to, uh, up to a bit, up to Long. Long will bring it across the blue line. He waits, tries to put it in front, tries to hit Franz and streaking to the middle of the ice. Franz gets a piece of it, tries to rim it around the boards. Quick rush to the blue line, but can't quite beat it there. As they uh, brought back in right at the blue line. Vandevin. He holds on, trying to find that pass. Sends it down low, back up top. Franz in now. Over to Van de Ven, man gets toppled down right in front of that. Takes a shot by Long. That one gets stopped by Froggett. Another shot, but it looks like the net is off its moorings. So we set again here. 18 seconds left in the power play. Stars getting a few more chances here in the last 30 seconds or so. But once again, this is a penalty that the Nationals have been controlling for the most part. Yeah, you mentioned how St. Thomas didn't exactly look as urgent to move the puck so far on this power plane. The Nationals have been dogged for the puck, 
and that's something that I'm sure that Dave Matos will want this group to clean up. Another shot from distance. That bounces right over Frog. He didn't even see where it went. And Long takes another shot. That one hits a leg. Bouncing puck. That one's going to go down the length of the ice as the Nationals kill off another one. As Rogers steps back on the ice for the Nationals. Vandevin. All kinds of pressure on top of him by LePayne. And it's going to be too much for him to handle as he gives away the puck over to Mill. Mill, nice cross ice pass to Payne Frock. Puts it right down low, tries to get it over. He had Rogers sitting right on the doorstep. Nationals are, however, going to get their first power play of the night. Great little hard work play behind the net by the Nationals. As the work between LePayne and Rogers almost results in a goal. Vandeven, head to the box. It happens behind the net. And again, Rogers down low, doing a good job of getting the puck, and then the roughing call happens right there as he ends up basically fair hugging the Nationals forward down onto the ice. And now for the first time in tonight's contest, we get to see the Nationals power play go to work. They were 0 for 4, like you mentioned, last week down in LaSalle. We'll see if they can turn that around here for their first opportunity. Fisher on the back end, out there as well. Rogers, Milne on the ice. Riley Wood. Good chip. Fisher, pass cross ice. Gets it onto the stick of Milne, gives up bobbling it for a second. Now he's going to wait, try to find that open chance. Fisher, over to Rogers. Marshall trying to set up in front of the net. You have Wood up high in that bumper spot. Waiting for that pass, can't find it. Now throws it cross ice. A little too much there for Rogers to handle. Rogers takes a tumble on the ice. Tries to get some help from Wood and does. Wood cross ice over to Mill. Ends up taking in his skates. Tip play. Here comes a breakaway chance. Coming down the length. The other side here is Kane Law. Takes a shot. And scores. Kane Law cuts the lead to one. On the Stars, their shorthanded goal for themselves. Well, now we're equal on shorties. As a bad pass there by Mill, nobody home. And a beautiful shot on the net made there by Caden Long as he's able to take that puck and go right down Broadway. And beat Froggett. Walker side, and I'm, once again, they're back in this game now down one. As you said, Jerry, coming into this period, the game is not over yet. Star is a strong second period and a chance still to get to tie it up. Palmer takes the shot, holds on. Back up the cop shot. Palmer again waits, takes a shot blocker save there by Slochus. Cop shot again, waits, sends it down out of the circle, takes a shot. That one just goes wide. Home. Now over to Kopchak. He takes a shot. That one hits a leg. And the Stars are going to try to quickly turn the other way. Rock across the blue line. Takes a shot. That one hits a leg. Turn the other way again. Here comes the National. Hirsch. Carries it over. How's the current go ahead goal for the Nationals? Palm down low. Gets it onto the stick. Van de Ven's back on the ice. Nationals get a little extra time here as Vandeman ends up going to the bench. Kopchuk, cross ice pass. Gets it over to Pace Roth, but can't quite receive it cleanly. Puck does get rimmed around the boards, comes up to the blue line, and will click cleared by Fred. Will go a little too far, however, and will go for an icing, so those tired penalty killers are going to have to stay on the ice. Yeah, long penalty kill successfully done there by St. Thomas. But their penalty killers are still going to be out there as they ice the puck. So a fresh forward group out there for the Nationals. Looks like the fourth line out there with LeBanc and the two AP players in Eldridge and Ducharme out on the ice. See the draw. Face out is won by Hugin. 
He'll send it around as the Stars are trying to bring it out here by Jacob English. English uh, Ice gets called off and goes right to Carter Froggett. They brought back out. Nash is dead to the blue line. Nice lead pass. Here comes Ducharme. Good, good. Leads it out across the blue line. She tries to throw it down into the corner to lose track of the puck. Stars will corral it and try to bring it out again. Blake, nice lead pass. Just a little too hard for Collins to hold on to. Nationals take it back the other way. Wait, right back up to the blue line. Wait, takes, takes a look, takes a shot. That one just goes through. Another great chance there by Ruan. Just it was a little too far on the inside. Penalty coming here. And it will be two stars. So the Nationals unsuccessful in their first attempt. We'll go right back to the power play. It's going to be Jacob English heading the box. English is going to go for the charge. And that one is it just takes too many steps on the play on the hit as there it is just a couple of too many strides to take his man out puck well gone and so now the nationals will go to work again here on their now second power play of the contest rogers is going to get kicked out in comes mill taking off Kane long a shorthanded goal in the last attempt. Rogers tries to get it over. That pass gets stolen. Long, another chance for a, for a breakaway, but just out of his reach, Froggett comes out to pick up the puck. The, uh, the lackadaisical power play seem to be rubbing off on the Nationals as well, just as much as they are on the Stars. Down. Here comes Wood. Wood almost gets the strip of the puck by Hugin. He picked up again. Held on to by the Nationals. Another reach of Rodgers. Ethan. He'll spin puck around, sends it down the length of the ice. Rodgers will come out to play. A minute gone on the power play. Kopchuk. He'll set up for the second unit. Lead pass. Here come the here come the Nationals. LePayne off to Palmer. Back to LePayne. LePayne takes a shot. Sharp angle. Take save there by Slochis. Case Roth now. Cross ice pass. Gets it over to Palmer. Palmer takes another shot. That gets saved. Rebound chance. Loose puck down low. Stars do a great job at the flat into the corner. Clear the zone. 30 seconds left. Minute 28 remaining here in the second. 3-2 is your score in favor of the Nationals. Hirsch walks in, gets stripped of the puck, sent right back down again. 10 seconds left, chance for one more rush here if the Nationals can get moving. Palmer, cross ice over to Lave. Lave, he'll walk in, puts it out front, tip play, that one just goes over the net. <laughs> Hirsch again, sends it down low. Crack up front, tip play in front. That one goes right into the chest of Slochis as the Nationals' penalty-killing woes continue over eight on the season. A good late little rush there by the Nationals. They able to work it out in front, and LePayne just redirects this back out onto Slochis, who is square to the puck, able to make the relatively easy save with 57 seconds to go here in this second period, only down one. Play comes out the other way, two on one possibility here for the Stars, they try to break down low, get the puck out front. Hess can't get it onto the onto the pads of Carter Froggett. Good. Back out across the blue line, walking in, McNamara tries to get it up, shot off, gets over to Chip and he takes the shot, that one just slides wide. Kept in again, another shot from distance, that one goes wide again, loose puck down low, banging away at it, trying to get it behind. But Slow just dives down and holds on. 
And again, the bounces of the Western Bear come into play as that one just bounces right back out in front. And another scramble in front of Slotes is able to put the glove down and settle things down with 27.8 seconds to go. London puts out their top unit with Palmer out there with Wood. Quick shot right off the hop there. That one come by Hirsch. Hirsch already got one goal tonight, as does Wood. So two of the three goal scorers on this line. Kopchuk, he's going to take a shot from distance. Love down there by Slochus. Yeah, and a good read there by Kopchuk there, recognizing there wasn't really anyone in front for a low tip, so he just tried to float one, hoping for a weird bounce. Doesn't get that bounce, but able to draw one more play out of the Nationals. And now Hirsch is going to take the draw here on the right side. So this is a bit of a gamesmanship here, and now it looks like Palmer is going to end up taking this draw. Get back into position. Stars are going to win it, and Blake will hold on. He's going to throw it hard around the boards, gets up to the blue line, kept in, however. Shot from distance again, that gets blocked on the way, and that rebound chance, that one goes over the net, and that will do it here for the second period. Nationals start out strong, Stars end stronger as we will head into the second intermission. Nationals lead by a score of 3-2 to two over the St. Thomas Stars in what is turning into the a dramatic home opener here for the Nationals. You are watching Archon Aggregates Nationals Hockey here on Rogers TV. the opportunity to meet John at a couple of community events and he asked me at uh, a couple of events it was handbags for hospice uh, the Chamber of Commerce Awards and the big Century 21 Golden Gala uh, my advice would be if you're afraid just try to get over that fear. Um, I was camera shy. I was a little bit nervous about getting on, on camera and, and talking. Uh, but if, if you're shy, my advice is just jump in with both feet because it's very rewarding and enjoyable. Um, if, if you're passionate about your community and, and wanting to meet people from every corner of the community, whether again it be artists or small businesses or people in political office, um, definitely do it. It's, it's a great opportunity to, to meet these people and get to know a little bit about what's happening around the community. Hi, can I take your order? Hello? Oh, hey. Wait, what was the question? Let me guess. One driving high combo, extra baked? No. Uh, could I get a burger with a side of... fries? Think you're a better driver when you're high? Think again. Smoking weed affects reaction time and concentration. A message from Mad Canada. level here with the captain of the London Nationals, Riley Wood. Congratulations on becoming the captain. What that's, what's, a, what's that been like for you? It's really been an honor, you know, to represent, you know, my hometown team. And it's obviously a blessing. I get, you know, my family that can come out to watch me and support me. And it's really been uh, fun. And this past weekend, things got off to a bit of a shaky start for you guys. What was the main takeaway of that game heading into tonight? Um, I think we just weren't prepared. Obviously, starting the road or starting the year off on the road, uh, we have a bunch of new guys who don't really know what they're doing yet. So really, just getting settled into the year with a new group of guys and really forming a bond with each other and becoming a family at the rink to really uh, come together and have some success. Heading into the final frame here, how do you plan to keep your lead? Um, you know, I think we look to be a competitive team. We want to be fast. We want to be aggressive and. We always want to be competing and uh, at the top of our game. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Best of luck to you, Riley. Thank you. You're watching Archon Aggregates London Nationals Hockey on Rogers TV. My name is Chase Nicholas. I am a Mi'kmaq hockey player. 
Growing up, I always remember my family talking about the Mi'kmaq as the creators of the game of hockey. In grade seven, I did research on Mi'kmaq hockey sticks as the first sticks of the NHL. I found a Mi'kmaq hockey stick made in 1917, the same year the NHL was formed. I was surprised to find out the very stick I was holding was made by my great-great-grandfather, Alexander Cope. In 1934, an elder known as Old Joe Cope wrote a letter to the Halifax Herald claiming the Mi'kmaq created hockey. I found out later that I am a direct descendant of Old Joe Cope. There was a time when Mi'kmaq children were torn from their families and not allowed to speak their language, losing their words and stories. But the stories are coming back to us. Stepping on the ice, I take pride knowing the roots of the game of hockey stem from my ancestors in the Mi'kmaq Nation. for tonight's game are volunteers. Rogers TV volunteers learn the skills we need to put on a show, including camera, audio, graphics, and more. If you're interested, visit rogerstv.com slash volunteer sign up. Back here at the Western Fair Sports Center, after 40 minutes of play, 3-2 is your score now in favor of the London Nationals. Uh, Nationals start out that period strong, picking up another goal, extending that lead, but a fantastic second half of the period by the Stars, really capitalizing on the chances they were given, including a shorthanded goal of their own. Yeah, that second period was more so a battle in the neutral zone, but it started off on the right foot for the Nationals. Pace Roth being able to center this puck right out in front for Hirsch, able to get his first in the GOJHL. And then after that, the Stars were able to find the puck in the right areas, and Cole Collins being able to get on the board, and then a turnover by Milne at the blue line results in the short-handed goal for Caden Long, able to beat Carter Frost high over the blocker's side. Collins, his second goal in only three games so far. And Pace Roth and Wood getting on the score sheet. So Wood with multiple points here already in tonight's contest. Fun being up by one. Going to be interesting to see how they do in the interview with there with Taylor. You know, Riley Wood said you, about this team wants to be able to be fast and compete in every game. And that's something that you want to see. That's something that we didn't really see that St. Thomas did early in that second period was competing for the puck, but regardless, they were able to do so and make it a one-goal game heading into the third. Absolutely. Shots 13-10 and 10 there for the Nationals. Uh, came along as well, as you mentioned, they're picking up his first goal of the season. Third point as well, though, in three games. So he's going to be proving to be a very uh, helpful player on the offensive side of the puck for the Stars. Uh, now between the pipes, um, a, not a, a rocky start there for uh, Slochis as he leapt through that bit of a soft one to start. But after that, he closed the door and has been a brick wall since. And he's really made this game basically close in the fact yeah, that there's a the scoring opportunities left and right for the Nationals that Slotes has just been able to control the puck and stop it whenever he can and in that second period that the Nationals will score there by Hirsch that's the one that he would like back the other two goals weren't his fault more so the defense leaving him out to dry but nonetheless good night so far in here by Slotes we've seen him here this past season as well, being able to stop the puck and keep St. Thomas in hockey games. As we said at the beginning of the game here, both teams young, very optimistic, as we said, this is a very open conference, and both teams have a lot to prove and a lot of opportunities here to try to grab a hold of those top spots in the Western Conference. Um, Slochev's going to be one of the big aspects if the Stars can be one of those teams. On the other hand, Carter Frog is going to be relied on heavily here. Only got a little preview of him last season, but has been pretty solid so far tonight. Yeah, Frog has been in control for the majority of this contest so far. Like we mentioned before, he started in last season's home opener for the Nationals, recording the win in that contest. And so far tonight, he's been really doing a good job being square to the puck and just basically throwing his body at the puck. He likes to swim around in his net, very just body controlled, and he's able to just slow the puck down, slow the game down, 
and stop the puck, and doing that so far, keeping his team up one heading into the third. Hey, that's the uh, the good old uh, style there, the Grant Fuhrer uh, goaltending style. All you have to do is uh, make sure you don't let in the next one. And uh, that's keeping the uh, Nationals ahead of the Stars so far right now. But the other aspect that's been a bit of a concern right now is uh, it's not penalty, it's not power play. Uh, Nationals now 0 for 8 on the season, 0 for 6 in the first game of the season against LaSalle Vipers, 0 for 2 tonight. What are they doing wrong? Well, for me, what's going wrong so far is they haven't been able to just get the puck on the net. They are passing it around, trying to find that golden scoring chance. And sometimes for power plays, it's just more so about getting shots on the net and crashing the net. We haven't really seen the Nationals crash the net so far in tonight's contest, but especially on the power play, if you're able to generate a nice low shot and have that bumper position guy or the guy that's hanging out in front try to bury those chances, they will come. And once they get that first one, you'll see them maybe start to roll on that special team. Start getting that momentum. And uh, speaking about special teams, though, the other side of that, that penalty kill has been dynamite so far tonight as well. Yeah, they've been dogs on the puck. As soon as they get the penalty, which they don't want to take, the penalty kill unit has done a really good job, especially in tonight's contest, getting that shorthanded goal. But just being able to play desperation-style hockey when they're on the penalty kill. And we saw the St. Thomas Stars weren't exactly trying to jump for that puck on the power play, which the Nationals basically were saying, okay, well, we'll take it and we'll try to get an offensive scoring chance out of it. So a really good job tonight from both teams on their special teams on their penalty kill scoring goals. Absolutely, absolutely smothering penalty kill by the Nationals. Look to try to turn that into a little more offense for themselves here as we get set for our third period of action here on Archon Aggregates, London Nationals Hockey. Oh, Girls who don't get the support and encouragement that they need when they're little grow into women who look for support and encouragement in all the wrong places. Let's give our girls the tools and resources they need when they're little so they can grow into bold and courageous women. As parents, let's learn how to identify and enhance our children's gifts. You don't want to miss learning from our expert mental health providers chosen specifically for the Yes I Can event. Our mental health experts are gonna help our girls with topics that are on their minds today. Like, how do I make new friendships? But how do I break old ones that are unhealthy? How do I learn to feel good in my own skin? And how do I say no without feeling guilty? Go to www.waymakerinc.ca for more information and to register. Today, I helped a senior find transportation to an important medical appointment. Today, I helped a new mom find virtual programming so she didn't feel so isolated. Today, I helped someone understand new government supports. Every day, 211 navigators connect Canadians to critical government and community programs and services. 211. Help starts here. Watch, play, and win every Monday night at 8 p.m. with Optimus TV Bingo on Rogers TV. Cards are available at multiple loan locations and are good for all three games. Weekly jackpots total $3,000. Back here at the Western Fair Sports Center. We're getting set here for puck drop. Uh, both teams getting on the ice here, and it should be a down-to-the-wire contest between these two teams as they've been just going blow for blow here uh, through the first 40 minutes. What, do you, what should we expect from both teams coming into the third? Well, for both teams, I expect them to... Be more cautious with the puck here in this third period. Again, with the Nationals being up one, you want to keep the foot on the gas pedal. And then if you're the Stars, it's the same thing. You want to get it inside of London zone and just keep peppering Carter Frog. It, he's made 19 saves so far in this contest. And both teams are going to want to come out to start this third period on the right foot. Both teams' mentalities in this third period should be bend, don't break. But one of them will have to. As we start here, third period of action underway. Play it right out front. Nice shot there from the star side by Gavin White. A shot in tight. That gets blocked. Nationals try to clear it out. Gets over to LePayne. Bounced over to Stick, however. He carries it in over to Rogers. Rogers brings it down low. Takes a shot at a sharp angle. And saved there by Slochitz. 
Down low. Palmer. Palmer puts it back up front. Trey tries to take a shot in tight, but can't quite get it on net. Vandevin gets a hold of it, throws in the offensive zone. That one picked up, brought back down low again. Takes a shot. That one goes off of Froggett into the netting, and so out of play. It will reset in the national zone. Nationals once again start the period strong and almost get a quick one right away. Yeah, we can tell that these two teams really want to get on the offensive side of the puck, and especially the Nationals want to start a period strong. They scored a minute into the first period. They scored less than three minutes into the second. So we'll see how they can start here in period number three. Puck set right down low behind the net. Picked up by Appleford, but stripped of the puck quickly. Back up to the blue line. Set down low again. Appleford collects it. Moves it up to the blue line. Ends up running into his own man. Kopchuk tries to clear it out. Puck does clear the zone. It'll be a foot race for it and just a bit too far ahead of Hirsch. So it will go for an icing and be brought back down into the national zone. Yeah, they almost got a fortunate break as it bounced off the linesman. It still ends up for icing, but if that had gotten all the way touched by a national, that could have been another golden scoring opportunity. Face off one by the Stars. Go again. Gannon, he'll take a shot. That one goes right on net and into the love of Carter Frog. Face off, and we'll start again. And a good save made there by Frog, and he had to get the glove down quickly as the puck was bouncing in front of him. And again, good job just being able to be square. Quick face off win again. Takes a shot this time by Collins. That one just slides wide. And that puck will come out. Quick turnaround. This one stolen by Kopchuk. Kopchuk, nice pass over to Palmer. Al Palmer brings it down low, tries to bring it out front. That gets stopped. Turned around again. Here come the Stars up to the neutral lights. Diving play down low by Pace Roth. Beautiful work as he gets it into the offensive zone. Wood tries to get at the blue line, bounced over his stick. Collected again now into the offensive zone by Pace Roth. Pace Roth, cross ice pass, tries to hit McNamara with it but just bounces past him. Hirsch, he tries to get it back. That one gets stalled up. Back out front, Long all alone, gets a hold of the puck right in the slot, takes a pass. Beautiful diving save there by Lave to stop from getting over to Froggett. Bouncing puck brought into the offensive zone, just can't get a hold of the stick of Chippen. Stars bring it out again. Nationals with the puck, pass intended for McNamara. That one gets picked up, back into the slot area. Can't quite get on the stick along. He can't get the shot off. Lay brings it out. Cross ice pass over to Fisher. Fisher walks in, tries to get his pass in the into the slot area. That gets stopped up. Brought back up by Sturgeon. That one sent right down in the corner again by Fisher. Another shot for the blue, and that one just slides wide. Kept in the blue line by Fisher. He'll send it down in the corner. Chipman battles for the puck. Gets stripped of it. Nationals try to hold the blue line, but can't. Has to circle back out and reset. Ruling. Wings it back out just out of the reach of Ducharme. Led by Slochus. Off the walls. Stars having a real trouble trying to get a hold of the puck. It is bouncing all over the place. Across the blue line, Owen Eden. Wide out front, loose puck down low, takes a pass. And an awkward save having to be made there by Carter Froggett, but he stands tall. A good save made there by Froggett as he had to be careful once again. And then the centering pass that's right in the close scoring area. And he's able to just square up and keep, again, keep the puck in front of him. Play out from the Stars, no control of the puck. Back up to the blue line, Vandevin. Rod down low, takes a shot, that one just goes wide. Played by Hugin. Over to Vandevin again. He takes a shot, that one on net. Loose puck down low, can't go, that scores! It finds its way through and in the back of the net. Clark Sandham ties it up at three. And Carter Froggen. Maybe he thinks he got interfered with on that play. 
As St. Thomas does a good job of working it from high to low. It goes behind him and then just goes right into the back of the net. And a good goal there for Clark Sandham being able to get his first of the year. And just like that, this game is now tied at three apiece. We talked about who wanted to get off on the right foot. St. Thomas does that and ties this game up here at three apiece. Uh, just under four minutes into the first period, into the third period here, and we're tied up again. Nolan Mill, he's going to walk in, takes a shot, that gets blocked. Sent back up to the blue line. Nationals going to have to regroup and reset their game plan. Trying to get back into this contest. It has uh, not been going their way. Walks in, takes a shot, loose puck, down low, and that scores! Hits the top corner. P.J. Vegas, beautiful shot, just hits enough mesh to go in. And you could tell that right away was a goal because you didn't hear any post. That was pure net as, again, we'll slow this down. It goes right up, and that goes just on the inside portion of the post by mere inches. The referee right away signaled goal because, again, you didn't hear post because the post makes a pretty loud sound. And for P.J. Fagan, the London Knights draft pick, he gets his first here in the GOJHL. A near almost 20 seconds after St. Thomas ties the game, London retakes the lead. Beautiful play by Fagan as well. Uh, a bit of an I'm sorry coach maybe after taking the 10 minute major earlier in the game. Uh, comes back, big redemption play by him. And big goal for the Nationals. Here come the Nationals now, two on one the other way. LePayne, he's got Mill with him. LePayne waits, takes the shot, bouncing right over the top of the net. Didn't have a clear lane for the pass. Transit over to Gavin White. Down low, Long can't get a hold of it. Once again, here come the Nationals again, another two on one. Walks in, tries to get a pass cross ice. Woods, or Hirsch's pass can't get through. Nationals doing a great job of trying to push the momentum here after that second, after that fourth goal. Long walks in, he takes a shot, that goes high off the arm of Froggett and out of play. And we're going to get another look at DJ Fagan's first goal as a London National. As again, he's able to just pick this corner. Good snap of the stick, and it goes off the shoulder of Slotez. And that did not look like that went in. As the National might have caught in a break. Yep, unfortunately, uh, did not have the benefit of a replay like we do. But I don't think you will hear much complaining going on by the Nationals as they have a lead once again. Blake tries to spin it around. That one goes off a leg, now comes over Collins. Nice little move, he's trying to try to make his way in. Him and Lave get tangled up right in front of the Nationals net. Here comes Palmer, Palmer all alone, nice little move, shoots and scores! Well, we know that goal went in the back of the net for sure as Talon Palmer gets a breakaway. And we've seen this from Palmer last season plenty. Just a turn and fire. And the defense did not see Palmer behind them at all. And another just forehand move it to the backhand, toe drag, backhand, back of the net. And in a matter of just minutes, we go from being 3-3 to now 5-3 in favor of the Nationals. Beautiful little play there by uh, Talon Palmer. As we saw all last year, he's got that dynamite offensive ability, and he's got a little bit of a ghost in him too, just sneaks up and finds his way behind the defense. And just a beautiful play. Defense had no chance, and neither did Slochus. And exactly the way the Nationals wanted to start this period here, picking up a pair of goals, and taking back the lead and extending. Battle for the puck behind the net ensues. Fagan up to McNamara. He'll bring it up across the blue line into the offensive zone. Big hit thrown there by McNamara. Takes his man. He's going to get a penalty for it, however, it looks like. 
We're waiting for the official call. Is there a bit of a scrum right down as one of the Nationals players down on the ice in the corner? Yeah, the physicality picking up here in this third period. And I believe we're just going to get the lone penalty, and it's going to go to Quinn McNamara as he just throws the body there. But with another London player already playing the body, more of a lean towards a charge. So it's two minutes goes up on the clock, and another power play here for the Stars. As that penalty there, I wouldn't call that one one that you could not have really wanted to take. That was just more of he's throwing the hit, he just acts, gets called for it. And it, that type of play just happens. And so now the Nationals will once again need to use their penalty kill. It's worked so far in this contest. See if they can keep the two-goal lead at bay. Stars 0 for 5 on the power play so far tonight. The Nationals looking to keep their perfection of 5 for 5 going so far. And it is charging is the call on Quinn McNamara. So the Stars are going to hopefully try to get back in this contest once again as they cross the blue line into the offensive zone. Puck gets brought to Franza. Franza quickly turned off over off his stick. Here come the Nationals the other way. Chipman, great job just using his body to force the puck to the outside. Stars will finally collect it again now. As they'll move it out across the red line. Setting up in the offensive zone. Vandeven brought back over, ready to the top. Waits, shoots, fires the puck on net. That finds its way through, but can't get past Froggett. Back over to Vandeven. He waits. He takes a shot at a sharp angle. That one goes over to the top of the net. Pinned along the boards behind the net. Nashville still trying to bow for the puck. Long manages to use his footwork to get it back out. And Lawton gets taken down behind the net. No call on the play. Ref didn't see it. And now we're going to see another big hit. This time, I believe that was for Carr Froggett throwing the body as multiple bodies just tumbling down to the ice. Did not see any arms getting raised, so I don't know if any calls are going to come out of this. Play kind of happens down low. As I'll take a look. Again, shot gets made. It's a block, and then there's the hit thrown by Frog, as I don't think he liked the cross check down low. So there's two nationals in the box, so I think we're gonna now we're gonna go five on three. Here as now the referees are just having a quick conversation, and I think Frog is gonna get the only call. Oh, it looks like it was Kopchuk who ended up hitting them. So so Kopchuk's in the box for the nationals. And then Appleford's getting the gate. Or, never mind, he's just going right back to the bench. So, very confused with what's going on here. Has only one penalty up on the board. So, it looks like there's going to be a couple off settings. And, uh, just from what we can overhear up here in the booth. Uh, both of uh, all the players down there on the penalty box having a few uh, few words for each other. Uh, mostly probably about just like where to go after the game, right? Uh, absolutely d d best place for dinner or post game. They're talking about who they're going to take in their fantasy draft up. Uh, that, exactly. That's exactly what they're talking no, about. No, 100%. Nothing else. As played down in the corner, bow for the puck and suits. Fisher, he tries to get a hold of it, swings the stick, but gets it nothing but air. And that puck gets set down the length of the ice. 14 seconds left in the penalty to McNamara. Shots now 32-30 in favor of the Nationals, so Stars peppering the frog a little more here in the third. Puck comes across the blue line. Tries to take a shot, McNamara back on the ice. As it looks like uh, Caden Long trying to jump back on the ice as well, but the timekeeper and the linesman managed to be there right in time to make sure he stayed in the box. Collins now, three on to one, puts it out front, tries to get across ice, but just can't get it on the stick of Gavin White. Here come the Nationals the other way. McNamara, full head of steam. 
Comes around, circles around the blue line. Nice cross ice pass. Wait, tries to get a shot by Palmer. Doesn't like his options, still holds on to it. Puts it back out front. That one tries to get a one timer going right in the slot area. Well, that gets stopped up and sent down the length of the ice. Trogging. Another lay. They'll send it cross ice into the far corner. Picked up by Herschel. By Hirsch, he'll pick it up, try to find a play to out front, try to get in front of the net. Gets stopped up as the Stars try to bring it out of the neutral ice. Sturgeon. Brings it out, that one sent down the length of the ice and hits the back wall for an icing. And we reach the midway point here in period number three, the shots. Pretty much even, 32-31 in favor of the Nationals. And being up by two, they just want to try to keep the pressure going inside of St. Thomas' defensive zone. Foul for the puck, Ray, the blue line comes in now. Chipman, he tries to put it in front of the net. Blue rebound chance, tries to get it out again. Another shot, loose puck still takes a shot. That gets blocked in front by a body. Big chance there by Nolan Miller. Another chance, Nashville still with the puck. Takes the shot, that one just goes over the net by Fagan. P.J. Fagan looking for his second goal of the night. Long pass up to LeBlanc. LeBlanc drops it there, expected Fagan to be there with him. Now picked up by Chipman. Chipman waits, he takes a shot, puts it right in the body of, of Slochus, and he'll hang on. As we continue here in the third period, it is brought to you once again by Great White Wealth Management. And we'll take a look again at this save made by Flotez as the fake shot attempt there by Miller as Miller just keeps the puck and then tries to outweigh Flotez on the play, but a good job there of just staying with it and keeping the puck in front of him. Picked up behind the net by Mill, and he'll try to bank it off the net. Ends up getting stuck on the back netting. Mill will try to bow for it again. Tries a kick for it, but misses the puck entirely. Puck finally squeaks out. Still on the stick of Mill. Oh, and Mill, cross ice pass. That one just goes bouncing a little bit too hard there for Josh Rulin to get a hold of. Rulin, he gets knocked down in the play. Stars pick it up in the offensive zone. They'll try to move it to the front of the net. Franzen assesses the situation. Shot from the blue line. That one flies its wide way into the corner. Nashville's going to take up that one. We're going to see another penalty coming here, this time to Franzen. As he ends up hitting Ruin real hard from the back. It'll be two minutes for boarding. Franson on that play just goes in a little hard on this play as Buck works down low and then it gets right there and then there's the lean in with the shoulder. Square in the numbers. Two minutes goes up on the clock. 8.44 left here in this third period. The top unit once again out there for the Nationals with Talon Palmer set to take this draw. The Nationals can end their streak here. Uh, might be the final nail uh, in this game for the Nationals. Well, we got to see what's going on if the Stars can hold off again. Their penalty kill has been fairly solid so far tonight. So it's not just the Nationals' power play hasn't been effective, it's the Stars' penalty kill, but it's pretty solid. <laughs> Stars have come into this game with four, 15 penalties on the season with 14 successful penalty kills. So. Not too surprised, it's been pretty good again tonight. This is the Nationals' fourth opportunity on the power play. Puck, lay, gets brought out. Picked up again by the Stars. They're gonna send it right back down the length of the ice. Froggett's gonna come out to play the puck. Leaves it for Fagan. Fagan, nice little move. The head hesitation gets him into the offensive zone. Waits, throws it around to Rogers on the far side. Rogers back into the blue line for Fisher. Fisher over to Fagan. 
Fagan down low, puts it out front, takes a shot, a chance, but it just can't get past. All the way down, Nashville's going to switch up, bring out that top unit. Rogers stays out, but now added on to the play there is Milne, Wood, and Chipman. Mill, nice little pass, touch pass, over to Fisher. Back to Rogers. Down low, nice little touch pass, right out front. Mill tries to take a shot, gets on net, and a nice save made there by Slochus. And the scrums once again culminating in front of the Stars net. Yeah, good opportunity there for Milne in the slot. As again, they just work it right out in front. And it's kind of more of a chip shot. And Slokes has hit the glove on it as he was sliding a little too far to his right-hand side, but able to gather himself and make that glove save. Seven minutes to go, and again, fresh line out on the ice here for the Nationals. Last quick cha last change here, late defensive switch here for the Nationals. Still 14 seconds left here on the power play. Face-off win by the Nationals, trying to get it up front. Tip play down low by McNamara, but just can't get it cleanly on net. And the power play woes continue here for the Nationals as Franzen back on the ice for the Starks. Nationals not going to break it out. Cross the red line into the offensive zone, led by Chipman. He tries to get a pass over to McNamara in the middle. Up to the blue line. Fisher pins his man. Puck gets lost between some, beneath some feet. Here comes McNamara. Nice little touch pass over Chipman. Chipman walks in. He takes a shot. Another beautiful save there by Slochus. He kicks it into the corner. Collins. One of the goal scorers on the night for the Stars. Back pass, nice quick movement there. Loose puck in front of the net as Froggett diving play. Gets a glove on it and hangs on. Yeah, aggressive goaltending tonight by Carter Froggett. As this puck gets shot in, he again goes out to play it. Realizes he's got a bail. Makes a save, makes a stretch pay and then dives out with the glove to get that one. And able to secure that. And now he's just trying to adjust the net back on line with the goal line. Flags down the referee just to do that. And sometimes that can be what you would call maybe a, a secret timeout. Sometimes goaltenders will like to say, hey, the, the you know pegs are not in right. Buy a couple extra seconds for the group. Got shot right from the blue line. That hit, that looked like had Franzen in a soft spot as he's going up with a bit of pain as the puck goes into the star zone. Nationals try to corral it. Play it again, turn around quickly, try to bring it back up to Franzen. He gets body blocked and he goes off the ice. Pass up to Ducharme. Ducharme across the blue line. He's going to try to find that pass or is he going to wait? Waits, holds on, backhand chance, puts it right on net. And held on to this time by Slochus. A good little play there by Ducharme. He had the pass option the entire way. But at the same time, you can pass that off for a shot opportunity, but ends up keeping it for himself and get, gets a backhanded shot off. Good offensive play. Another shot on net once again, right into the glove again. Yeah, can't say anything negative about Slotez's game in here tonight. Sure, he would like that one goal in the second period back. But other than that, he's had a good night in here. 34 saves on 39 shots. Does a lot to try to keep his team in this game. Been hung out to dry on three of the, of the five goals. Uh, one soft one and then one that uh, didn't actually go in the net. So not a bad night for Slotez between the pipes. And another penalty coming here to P.J. Fagan. It's going to be a cross check. And this is where it's the undisciplined penalties that we're talking about. This, this was one where he didn't have to take. 
And again, here's, and it's more of a retaliation because there's a cross check and then that's the cross check there right to the cage out of St. Thomas Ward and the referee caught it right away. Fagan upset with the fact that it was caught, but nonetheless, another penalty to the Nationals. Yeah. Once again, though, the Nationals penalty kill has been on fire so far tonight. Van de Vette, he walks in, takes a shot, loose puck down low. Nationals still trying to scramble for it. They will find his chip, and he's going to hustle his way out. One man to beat. Bows for the puck down low, pins it just long enough to kill off a few more extra seconds. Palm pinches in, throws it back down in the corner. Franzen will pick it up for the Stars, and he'll move it out. Cross the blue line into the offensive zone. And over to Vandevic. He sends it down low. Stars trying to find that opening, trying to move the puck well here and open up that, that Nationals box that's been so hard to penetrate. Into the far corner. Still can't get anything going here. Gavin White tries to get a hold of the puck. And laid along the boards. Two stars, two Nationals. Now three of each team. Body continue to battle for the puck. Still barely moving anywhere. The digging away continues here. It looks like one of the Nationals may have finally fallen on the puck and does score it out finally. As the Stars are going to quickly try to capitalize here. France in far side takes the shot. Beautiful diving play. As that one hurt Lave as he's going off in a world of hurt. Nice hustle play down low as the Nationals are going to steal the puck. As Miller, great hustle. Gets the puck and brings it right back down as Fisher's going to dive and throw it down the length of the ice. Over to McNamara. He takes a shot right in the sharp angles, right into the body of Slochus. And that one comes right back out again. Here comes Collins now for the Stars. Over to Gavin White. Back down to Collins. Penalty expires. Fagan back on the ice. He's going to try to quit his quick stick lift on Ether. And does. Here come the Nationals. Going to try to move quickly. Fanning on the puck is a broken stick by Miller. Denies the chance. Another shot by Gavin White. That one just goes off the glove. Gets a little piece of it and stays out. Well, the puck certainly bouncing here in this third period as the Nationals thought they were off on an offensive break. And then it turns into a chance for the St. Thomas Stars. This is a good shot off the net miss. The net minder of Carter Froggett. Now the faceoff will come outside. So now with 2.40 to go. We've seen Dave Matzos with the Nationals last season be very aggressive in pulling the goaltender. We'll see what he does here with two and a half to go in this game down two behind the St. Thomas Stars bench. Exactly. Still lots of game left here. It's still enough time for the Stars to make some kind of comeback here. They just need a bounce to go their way in the next minute or so. And then you have that opportunity if they want to try to pull Slocious and try to get something going. Kopchuk with the puck. Over to Mill. Up to LePayne. LePayne, he's going to dump it in. Goes right to the gloves, low chest, and he'll hang on. Wood tries to pick it off at the blue line, just overskates it. LePayne trying to be in there for some help. Bouncing puck. That one goes back down in the national zone, bouncing up the wall. Once again, collected by the Nationals. Here comes Milne. He's going to lead the rush. Empty net. Milne, chance to just end the game. Passes it over. Shoots and scores. Riley Wood will ice the game as the Nationals are going to come away with their first win of the season in their home opener and continue some dynamite play here on home ice to start of the season. That's a good Sign off there for your captain to be able to get two goals on the night. Now for Riley Wood. Able to just get it on the open net. And yeah, a nice little victory celebration now with a minute 51 up by three goals. Play goes over. Fagan will pick it up. Nationals just going to try to just hold on to the puck. They'll bring it over. Palmer brings it in. Wood, he gets knocked down on the play. 
Bell trying to get a piece of it there as Rogers. Fagan flips the puck all the way down, gets to the blue line, picked off out of midair by Blake. Puck gets sent over into the offensive zone there by Sturgeon. Stalled up again, right in the middle of the ice. Blake crosses the red line in the offensive zone. He'll rim it hard around the boards. Now the blue line, great job by Sturgeon. He holds the blue line. Picked up by Palmer. Palmer gets it, helps get it out. Now over to Rogers. Across the blue line. Rogers, a bit of a shaky start to his game here. Has really turned it around here in the set later half of this game. Looking fairly solid. Once he gets taken down right at center ice. Thank you. Nice lead pass. Spins it out. Across the blue line. Hirsch. He's going to wait. Tries to hold on to it. Gets it. Tries to get it back to his forehand, but can't. Ends up finding its way in between his feet. Fisher. Back to Fagan. Fagan, he'll just throw it in. That one's going in. Last 30 seconds here in the contest. Passes back. Fisher now. He's going to hold on to it. Waiting, killing off those last few seconds. A solid start here as the youth comes out to play here for the Nationals. That's some impressive performances by a lot of the young kids on this Nationals lineup. That man right in the middle of the group there, Carter Froggett, comes in big and picks up his first win of the season and third as a national. As the Nationals will come away with a big win here on home ice, six to three over the St. Thomas Stars in dramatic fashion here in the third period. We'll be right back with our post game here on the Archon Aggregate Nationals Hockey on Rogers TV. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Mario Elia, and I'm the host of a new show here on Rogers TV that we're calling Keeping London Healthy with Dr. Mario. So tune in Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. and we'll see you then. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing. You can't live in that world unless you become a human yourself. I don't know. Life's full of tough choices. And then you belong to me. These days at your local Legion, we're marching to the beat of a different drum on a mission to support veterans, to have fun, and to welcome everyone to our ranks. You don't have to be a veteran to join the Legion. And as a member, you'll join thousands of others serving our veterans, our communities, and our country. Oh yeah, and our Member Perks program will save you thousands on shopping, dining, products, and services across the country. Join us at legion.ca. Most people that are uh, have received treatment for drug use problems are probably going to have a lapse. Join addiction uh, counselor awesome. Dean Anderson for Invisible, breaking through the stigma of addiction on Rogers TV. You know, all the camera operators for tonight's game are volunteers. Rogers TV volunteers learn skills needed to put on a show, including camera, audio, graphics, and more. If you're interested, visit rogerstv.com slash volunteer to sign up. Back here at the Western Fair Sports Center, First home game in the books, first win in the books as the Nationals do a great job there in the third period. A little scary at moments as the Stars tied up early, but uh, a very strong final 15 minutes there as the Nationals come away with the win. Yeah, and just in a sp inside the span of like five minutes, we go from being in a tied hockey game to the Nationals making it a one goal game. And there's the goal that tied it late there. And then the Nationals are able to get this one, Talon Palmer, breakaway pass and we've seen him do this plenty last season able to bury that one to restore the Nationals lead and then there's the interesting goal there by DJ Fegg and was it a goal we don't know referee signals it so it must count regardless of what we may or may not have seen so that ends up being game winner and then you might as well add Riley Wood getting an empty netter his second of the campaign 
before the season, and we talked about the leadership group wanting to step up. Milne stepped up here tonight. Riley Wood got the two goals. That top line for the Nationals, I'm going to expect a lot of offense from that group. And then in goal, Carter Frog had able to solidify the fort and get his first win of the season. Absolutely. Those guys are going to be relying on heavily going forward. And if tonight's just a taste of what's to come, the Nationals have, do have some high hopes on the horizon. And we're going to send it down to Taylor for our three stars. Taylor? and one of the best results for a home opener for the London Nationals. Let's get right into the three stars. Carter Froggett came in clutch with 31 saves. Talon Palmer with a goal and an assist. And at one, Captain Riley Wood with a four-point performance, two goals and two assists. A very good way to end the game. You can catch more London Nationals on Rogers TV this upcoming Wednesday, September 27th against the Strathroy Rockets. Puck drop is for 7.15 p.m. On behalf of Kyle, Jeremy, and I, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful night. Inigo. Oh, he's still stacking those oh, joints, though. Look yeah. at that. Oh. Now, before we get into all this, what do we have to do? Oh, my. We got to do Grease Ball Warm Up. Yeah. Oh, I got a rush from that one. Remember, it is your warm up. If you need more time, Press pause. And book it back. So let's take a few deep breaths. Relax your brain ball. Start from your head and finish at your toes. Oh, yeah. Join us by rolling your head around in a circle mm -hmm. clockwise first. Yeah! Ooh. Oh, yeah. What do we do about 10 seconds of this? Yeah, and then we'll switch it up. Yeah, we'll do it quickly, but oh, oh, here we go. Let's go the other way. Oh, okay. yeah. Gotta follow hairball. Full motion. Right? Oh, yeah. Get it all. Okay. Warm it all up. Now our shoulders. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna do shoulder circles. And if you can't huh? do these, yeah, yeah. you can do the chicken wing. Oh, and so. then would you reverse it? Yes, sir. No. Oh, yeah, there we go. Reverse. Everything's got to be reversed. Just, let's get our elbows. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I like this. This is a, this is a blender. I don't know what this is. Yeah, this is called the blender. There we go. We got the Skipping rope. Yeah. Nice. Let's go. Let's go the other way. Okay. Ooh, I had to think about that. <laughs> Tricky. Yeah, I got all messed up. Oh, now, yeah. I guess the wrists. Yes, that's next. Yeah, it must be the wrists. Eh? Boom. Okay. Okay. Oh. Do our wrists for a little while. Yeah. For a little while. Just switch it around. Go the other way. Oh, yeah. Guess okay. we have to do the hips now. No. Next is the hands. Oh, yeah. Too flex. See? I tried to get away with Can that. Can I go? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta get those those wrists real warmed up. You gotta get your hands warmed up. A lot of pushing up and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Stir the paint. Stir the paint. We'll stir it one way. Oh yeah. Woo! We stir one way. You gotta stir the other oh, way. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, anyway, you need to stir the paint. Keep here. this PG, PG for the audience, PG. right? <laughs> 
get those knee balls. Knee balls. Oh yeah. If you can, ankles together. Okay. If you can. Love it. Go the other way. Go the other way. Okay. We're going down. Ankles. Guess you can only do one at a time. Yeah. I like to do it up in the air. Harold likes to do it on the ground. I like See? to be planted. Just he twist. Produced. Just twist. Oh. And then reverse. Oh, yeah, oh, you were going. Oh, yeah. Remember, you got another ankle. Oh, that's two. I got two feet. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's but that feel. way, that's like the lazy way. Just saying, not saying nothing. Just saying. Just, it's not really lazy. It's still doing it. But you should go the other way. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay. Hey, right, that's it. And now that we're all warmed up, Let's attack Beast, the big time body monster! Yeah! Oh yeah. Stretch your pants! Yeah! Okay. I'll go this way. I'll go this way. Oh, yeah. Stretch it way out, way out! Yeah, it's a lot like trip and oh. tricep. Oh yeah, it is. But further out. Yeah, so you're getting a lot of your core. Yes, sir. Remember, oh, go to your knee balls if you have to. If you go have to, to modify. <sighs> no shame in modification. No. Mm, no way. And if you think you can, get back up. That's right. Oh, I can't. Oh, I did work. <laughs> oh, that's rough. And I'm gonna keep a tight core. It's rough. It's tough. And I can't get enough of this stuff! Oh. Woo! Oh. Take a break. Oh. 30 second break. Oh. Okay. Stretch and press. Exercise one. Gone. Got it. Oh. Oh, stretch is next. Oh. Deep breaths. Keep hydrated. Joe, do you want some gum? Oh, I would love some gum. Gum? You got gum? You got thunder gum? Thunder oh, gum! Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Oh. That's disgusting. Ostrich! Ostrich! No, no. Mm. You start with the modifiers. Okay. Oh, yeah. The higher your hips can be in the air, the harder this is. That's right. You want to keep your elbows tucked in, right? Yeah. You don't want them to flare? No. No flaring. Stack your joints. Have your wrists come to your shoulders. Oh, never put your shoulders out of line with your wrists in this one. Oh, Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna have to modify. Oh boy. 10 seconds. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I got one more. Me too. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Take a break. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> It's a doozy. Oh, it's a real doozy. Thunder Twins always win. Always! We make it difficult because we want to see you get results. Oh, yeah! Don't cheat your body. No, sir. Well, take a break when you need to. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we got skydivers next, Gerald. Oh! Move your fanny pack to the side. Get on your tummy. Oh, oh. Oh. Ah, oh, slight switch. Pull oh, back. Oh, oh, yeah, pull back. Ah. Pull back. Oh. <laughs> All my pelvis. Push my heels to the ceiling. Yeah. Back to my hands. Yeah, Top my head. Those glutes. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Do you want a bitchin' beach bod? Oh, yeah. You work out with the Thunder Twins. That's and right. You do as we say. That's right. Oh. Oh. Don't cheat your body. Oh. But do what you can do. Gerald, how much time is left? Oh. We got 10 seconds. Yeah! Oh. Push oh. it through! Yeah! Push through! Oh. Oh. Take a break! You gotta police yourself! Yeah! My body was dipping and I knew it! You got it! Oh. Yeah. Keep hiding at home! Get yourself some thunder juice! Thunder juice! Thunder sputter! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I need some glue! Oh. Okay, drink it quick, because we're going to drop into the trident. Oh, boy! Remember, make like a trident. Elbows in line with your ear balls. Oh, okay. yeah! Oh. Let's go. Okay. okay. Wait. I'll do the modifier. Go oh. out like this. Yeah. Go on your knee balls. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So it's like a yeah. real tough yeah. thunder drop. Beautiful. Beautiful form, Harold. Thank you. Ooh. Slow and steady is what I'm doing. Perfect. I'm going to modify now. Nice. 
I've been modifying the whole time. Oh, it's difficult work. Oh, hard. that's beautiful. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. How much time do left? Yeah. We got 10 seconds. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, my hands are slipping. Oh, yeah. That's why I like these gloves. Ooh, good. Take a break. Oh, damn. Oh, gosh. Oh. Ooh, that's four down. We're halfway done. Round number one, Gerald. I'm pretty tired here. <laughs> it's okay. You'll be fine. I'm going to trip and triceps next. Mm, crush those things. I like trip and triceps. Yeah. Which way are you going to go? Straight up and down? I'll go side to side. Okay. 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 I'll go like this. Here. Just so people can get different yeah. aspects of this. Hoo-wee. Start on your knees. Yep. Elbows. Where would you say? Oh, I Behind would. your chin? Yeah. Oh. The further your shoulders are past your elbows, like this, the harder it's going to be. <sighs> and the further your knee balls are away from your hips, the harder it's going to be. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, Harry. How much time we got? Ooh. Ten seconds. Yeah, we do. Oh, it's a tough 10 seconds. Push through. Push through. Uh, modify if you need to, but push through. Push through. Oh. Modify if you need to, but push through. Uh, push through. Oh, yeah. Well said, yeah. Josh. Push through. Push through. <laughs> modify if you need to, yeah. but push. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Josh is looking good. Ah, boom. 10 seconds left. <laughs> do -do -do -do. Oh, we're gonna jump into Wicked Wallers. Thanks for the brush, Harry. Not a problem. Wicked Wallers? Oh my gosh. Okay. Ready! <sighs> okay. Oh, yeah. You wanna hold this? Hold this. It's a good time to get a drink if you need. Yeah. If you need to, need to modify, go up. Yeah. That's all. <sighs> but you know what? Come on back down, Joe. Oh, yeah. Work if you hard. Can, if you can, do what you can do. <sighs> Deep breath, take it in. It's a bit of a cardio pause. You got some time now. Ooh. If you need to, this is also a great time oh, yeah. to get hydrated. Think about what's coming up next. Yeah. I'm gonna go to get a drink myself. Okay. Enjoy the thunder juice. Gerald, you take some thunder juice? Yeah, man. Oh god. Oh Next <laughs> Minimus Melters! Oh. You need to go to your hips. Oh you wanna keep the slow and control, don't you? Yeah. You're not just flailing around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Sorry folks, we gotta keep you in line here, so once in a while we're gonna trick ya. <sighs> not give you a third break. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Slow, controlled. Yeah. Yeah. 